on to Luam. First and foremost, as always, before we get started, we're going to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukhakadash. Also, double honors to the Apostle and Elders, Great Millstone, and salutation to all your brothers out there. And, uh, you know, we're going to start off with this scripture, uh, let the dead bury the dead, all right? And uh, pretty much I was at a funeral today, all right? Uh, my cousin passed away, and, uh, you know, when, when you get, you know, when you go to these, like, funerals, you know, you're basically amongst the dead, all right? What I mean by that is spiritually dead. You know, everybody in my family, they're spiritually dead. They don't know who they are, okay? They don't know what the hell is going on. And they, they're, they're soon gonna be physically dead, all right? Like my cousin that passed away, all right? And the reason why is because these people, all right, they don't have the breath of life in them, okay? Which, is, which the breath of life is what? This wisdom, wisdom knowledge, and understanding, okay? So right now, they're uh, in the congregation of the dead, as the scriptures say. Okay? Hey, they're the, the walking dead. Alright? You know? This is it's Matthew 8 and 21. And another one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Yahweh Shai said unto him, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. That's right. So we're supposed to follow Yahweh Shai. Alright? Let the dead, and the reason why I said that, you got that proverb, Bob, should I get that? This proverb. The reason why I said let the dead bury the dead, all right, is because if you're not, you know, in this truth, all right, you're in the congregation of the dead, meaning you're spiritually gone, okay? Get that, Bob, should I? This proverb is 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out, out of the way of understanding shall yep. remain in the congregation of the dead. That's right, okay? Hey, hey, they're in the congregation of the dead. So let the dead bury hey, those who are spiritually dead. Let them bury the dead, meaning hey, the ones who are actually, you know, that they, 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 they bypassed, all right? You know, they're you know, actually physically gone, all right? You know, hey, if, of course, you got to go to an event like this, so be it. But you're not supposed to be there, you know, spiritually speaking, man. Okay? All right? But yeah, but, but these people, hey, they're spiritually dead out here, man. Okay? And we gotta, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, remain in this truth. Okay? Because this is, hey, what does it say in Isaiah 33 and 6? Let's get that real quick. All right? Because that's what's gonna uh, uh, get us through these, uh, you know, perilous times that are fast approaching. Okay? This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yep. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, so the wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of, uh, of your times, you know, during these, you know, during the time of Jacob's trouble, when all hell's breaking loose, all right, when there's riots everywhere, famines, all right, death, destruction. That's what's going to keep you stable, man. All right, and it said the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And why is that? Because they, uh, 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 what's it saying there? Psalms 34 and 7, I believe. And the Lord has angels, all right, encamped around those that fear Him, all right, and deliver Him. All right, that's why that's your treasure. Hey, these are the true riches right here. Wow. And also that word treasure, look it up. It means um, to store something away for future use. Mm. All right, and that fear of the Lord is synonymous with faith. That's in the book of Hebrews, the eleventh chapter. The whole is about faith, and it says through fear, no one moved and built their heart. So we store in this faith that we can build up. All right, so for what we endure now, we stand in fast now, but ultimately with all hell break loose, the Lord will willing to keep us in that lot. To fear him is to, is to keep the faith, man. It says to fear the Lord, drive it away sins. All right, in fact, that's what integrity means, man. All right, when you look up the word integrity, it goes to the word integer, which means whole, W-H-O-L-E. All right, so the whole, our integrity, the whole duty of man is to fear the Lord keep his commandments. So we're having that wisdom and understanding when the Lord controls all, all right, that we got to put our faith in him. Real quick, this is um, a rock two. That one right here. <laughs> wow. This is a rock two. And uh, I'm going to start at 17. They that fear the Lord, you can also say they that have faith in the Lord right there. Because to truly have faith in the Lord is to fear the Lord, okay? To truly trust in Yahweh Shai, 
It's to fear you how about Shimmy how shot. Mm -hmm. well, it could, if I may make a point, to fear him to if you go opposite of what he say do or don't do, then there's a consequence. You know what I'm saying? Of death. Because what he say do and don't do, it adds up to life eternal. So if you transgress life eternal, you die. So have the fear of the Lord to obey him or die. And the wages of sin, the wages of sin is death. Alright? If the Lord says the wages of sin is death, then guess what? You don't do what the most high say do. He said, uh, Luke 6, 46, why callest thou me Lord, Lord, and doest not the things that I say? Disobedience is as what? The sin of witchcraft. It's rebellion, man. Hey, hey, and the most high is going to do what? By, 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 uh, by, 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 by uh, not doing what he say do. He's going to kill you. Yep. He's uh, going to kill you. That's it. So Rock 2 and 17, they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts mm -hmm. and humble their souls in his sight. So we have to, for one, humble ourselves. We have to accept whatever the Lord does. Yeah. Right? Whatever he, yeah. yeah. You know, whether it's chastening, whether it's the salvation, whether it's death, yep. we have to accept what the Lord does, man. Whether you understand it or not at the time. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Whether you got to go through some stuff that's, you know, it's hurtful, it's, you know, uh, it, you know, it hurts, it, 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 you know, whether hurt physically, emotionally, whatever, Lee, it hurts. Because we're going to, we have to go through all those feelings and experience them. We have to experience all because we're about to be the uh, ultimate rulers of the eternal righteous kingdom. And we're going to rule over those who are going to go through all those feelings. All right. All those temptations, all those different things. All right. And so right now, here it is. We got to go through all those and accept them and roll in the spirit, man, and learn and grow. All right. And, and straight up accepting the will of the Father because it's perfect. Humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. See, humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you humble yourselves, because it says the meek shall inherit the earth, man. Uh -huh. So we're humbling ourselves to say we ain't got it. it. You know what I'm saying? My, yeah, if I roll with my mind, then. Uh, well, what, then what did you do? And what did that do? Yep. No one. Yep. You did that. You did. We all did that. Yep. Matter of fact, how old are you, brother? 55 and how do you should tell you 60 so, y'all did it for 60 years 55 years where did that get you well it's still headed towards death and, and don't get you nowhere exactly until you let go and give the most high your all that's the only way he can even start to deal with you yep but you have to let go first and that's the hardest thing that jake don't do that jake want to hold on to jake want to control everything because they have invested feelings yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We have to rend our heart, man. <laughs> and I got, I got one real quick picture of this man, uh, Job 5, 17. Behold, happy is the man who God corrected. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Okay. It's, a, it's a necessary thing in this process. You, you got to be a, a chat, you know, chastised. Or you got to be humbled by the Lord. That's it. Because right? it says, what son? A chastening? No, no, no. Wait, wait. Nah, this is the thing you back to Rock 2 and 18. Say, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as His majesty is, so is His mercy. So we know not, like oh it says God. up above in the same chapter, it's Rock, uh, the second chapter, it says, make not haste in the time of trouble. All right, so with all hell break loose, we know the trust in our power source. Whatever the Lord does, He gonna do what He want to do. It. Let, let thy will be done. How was Shah told us that? He humbled Himself before the cross. He did not want of course, Yahweh Shah was willing. He wants to save his, he, his elect, but he was asking, well, if it's another way, That's right. take me from his cross. Who just want to get, go, get, get their ass beat yeah. and put to death? So he still laid his life down. He like, Lord, if it's another way, take that from me, but the Lord will be done. Same mindset we must have. Whatever is, is happening in the world, through this wisdom and understanding, we know to trust and rely on Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, because with the Lord is mercy. With man, with thyself, with anything else, there's no for one, there's no power in that. And really, there's no mercy. Only the Lord can deliver from death. Only the Lord gives power. Hey, can this brother read this Daniel real quick? This, uh, this is Daniel chapter 3 and verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. And the king was ready to put them to death, but now bowing down to idols. 
right? This, who, who gonna save you from this whole death, right? Verse 17, if it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. So we're not gonna be cautious telling you, man. We're not, well, look, we ain't that bad, that's no idol. The Lord is powerful enough to save us from this furnace, right? That's it. Go ahead. And he will deliver us out of the oh! hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship thy golden image. And that's that wisdom and knowledge. That's the ability. No matter what the outcome is, whatever the Lord right, decides right, right, to do, right, right, right. we know we're not going to go away from the words of the Lord, man. That's it, that's it. All right, now, like he said it with confidence, the Lord will save us. Right. Even if he don't, right. I'm not serving your ass. That's, that's, oh, that's guaranteed destruction. That's, that's, right. that's, that's it. fear the Lord that's keeps it. us on the right path, that's man. That's right. And that's what's gonna keep us going. Ultimately, that's the Lord's gonna keep us from now with temptation. And that's just wrong as fuck. All we gotta do, but He keeping us stable right now, really. This knowledge of wisdom is keeping us stable now. In all hell breaking we're gonna be so set. Our faith is gonna be so just through the spirit boosted. That's why we're going through what we go through now. First Peter 1 and 7. Our faith is being made as gold as well, man. Pure gold. Right? We ain't even gonna have to worry about the temptation. But say if at some point the flesh decided to tweak. The, that faith, that fear of the Lord is going to keep us on point, man. Like, fuck that. The Lord got us. That's yeah. what, 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 what did Peter say? But he said, uh, are y'all going to leave me to? He's, where, 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 where do I have me to, to go? But where, where the fuck I got to? Matter of fact, you know, some of these brothers over 10, 12, 13 years, right there on the other side of the back there, uh, bus, bus stop right there, all right? Uh, we're no, we didn't come over here for the cover. He went and he was in all the elders. Going back to the apostles and the elders, man. Have you put all this time and all these experiences? How many problems do we have for our mind? Okay, uh, family, and everything. Once you invested with the Lord, you gave 100%. You have nothing else. We give it. It's like going to the casino, taking out a thousand dollars. That's all you have. And put it all on your hollow shine and you set back and they spin the wheel and everything. And, 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 and I don't win, I don't win. And but that's the will of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We had integrity as a people going back in the ancient world where if they knew they were fucked up, they'll throw themselves on the mercy seat of the Lord. If you said that was death, I was like, okay, Lord, I'm done. We now we 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 are some, we are the weakest, the most softest, the most simplest, the most wickedest generation of all, man. Uh, and even Job, Job is a great example because in the midst of all this hell, he was bitter as fuck. He never turned to the Lord. Even if we, we thought the Lord was against him, he just said, Lord, simply kill me now, please. If you hate me this much, if I've been fucked up this bad, which I ain't, I don't see how. But if I fucked up this bad, still don't, don't obey the Lord's will. If I fucked up this bad, just kill me. He didn't go with me. Why you wait for the Lord, like his wife said, right, curse right. the Lord. And die. He didn't try to figure some opposite shit out and get get some so what the, they call it medicine man back then and mm -hmm. to do some shit. He just trusted the Lord and said, look, what shit, just kill me then. He said, Lord give it, the Lord take it away. Right, man. He, he said, Lord gonna give me all this great things and not give me the evil things too. That's, that's what I was humble. about to say. That's that, the humble, yeah. that was the thing. When he told his wife, he was like, yo. Should we we, 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 we we gonna receive good things of the Lord and, and, and not receive evil? <laughs> and, 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 and you gotta go back. He said he was the greatest man in the East at that time. That means he had cattle. Okay, not cattle. He had cattle. He had a whole right, bunch right, of the right, motherfuckers, right. man. All right, he said he could have a fatty calf every goddamn day. Yep. And when and you go back to the ancient world, they didn't eat meat every goddamn day like that. But that was part of your wealth. When you was able to sit down and actually serve meat. What's the occasion? Like, like, what's the occasion? <laughs> it's like, right, right. Like, the fact that calf. Yeah. But the, the, matter of fact, when you go to the prodigal son, mother was like, I never received a fatty yeah, calf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never had that. I want that too. Yeah. The next said, no, give me the fattest one. Bring go big old Betsy. It's time for Betsy to get on the plate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfuckers don't understand how the, the, the integrity you need to, to please your how about your yellow shot. Right, and then, right. The, even with that word, integrity. Uh, integrity, right? It's like, you uh, to keep integrity, is pressure gotta be applied. That's it. That's you know it. what I'm saying? It. It's like when you sit on a chair. And you gotta, but the chair still gotta be whole. Yes. Which goes back to the definition of integrity. Yeah. Because if you sit on the chair and it broke, you're going to get rid of the chair. Right. And then keep his integrity. You know what I'm saying? 
So, wow. but you like applied that. the pressure on the chair and it kept its integrity, all right? It still was whole. It held you up, it held itself up, all right? And it didn't break because of the pressure. So we have to go ahead and keep our integrity, but understand that it's gonna be some pressure applied. They even not tested, can't be trusted. That's it, you got something? Hey, when this uh, Sirach chapter six and verse seven, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. You see, prove him first. All right, we gotta go through the ringer, not only through the good times, but through the bad times. You still with me? You still gonna be here with me and my friend? But go ahead. It says, and be not hasty to credit him, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. You see, the Lord talked about how, hey, there are acceptable men. They were tried in the furnace of adversity, all right? And they came out shining. See, some gonna get that adversity. The, well, I'll say the majority is gonna get uh, that adversity. And it says they're gonna cast it off, ere it be long, all right? See, but the thing is, is wait a minute. That's what's strengthening you. That's what's purifying and perfecting you, all right? It's this straight gate that's perfecting us. It's this present evil world, the entrance to get to our inheritance that's purifying and perfecting us. That fire cleansing. Right, so here it is. If you wanna uh, 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 be comfortable in this present evil world, if you wanna live your best life in this present evil world, then you were born in vain. Because now you're not going through all the pressure and all the, the, the trials and tribulations, all right, and suffering, all right, which is to purify and to perfect us, man. All right, hey, but if you don't want to go through that, then you don't want to be purified and perfected. Hey, and, and this is the time where the Lord is actually uh, turning our captivity, as the Lord um, said. And, and, and I, 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 I attribute you know, a lot of that to you, but I'm scared to put it I'm looking at, at the salvation and the, the, the deliverance more versus all the hell that we kept. Right. Because, you know, we've been beat down for so long. It's when you get beat down for so long, it's like when good shit comes, it's like you pass it up, okay? I'm being beat down. Because the Lord trying to throw you a bone, you don't even know when the Lord's throwing you a bone now. Because we've been beat down so fucking long. Uh, but the Most High is now starting to turn the captivity, starting to pull us up out of that 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 negativity that that darkness that sadness you know the the, the kingdom it, when the most high returning it brings two things all right it brings destruction upon the wicked and salvation to the righteous so if you're doing what the most high said do he's going to be pulling you out as he's starting to put the foot down on everybody else all right so it's you know if you feel like shit, but get a weather that storm go ahead buddy. uh this is the song of the three holy children and you get to it um, and um, I'm going to jump around a little bit in this. This is uh, one and two. Blessed art thou, O Lord, Yahweh, the power of our fathers. Thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. <laughs> I mean, hey, wait a minute. And he says some, some of the things? It says um, all the things. So when the Lord jacked our ass up and kicked us out of Israel <laughs> for being just um, Jeremiah what, 5 and 18 and 19, yeah. following every every wind and wham of doctrine, and shit, that was righteous, man. Yeah. Because that was going to lead us back to him. It was, well, fuck it. That's going to lead the righteous back to him. Well, yeah, right? The Lord kept his word. And with that, goes to Jeremiah. He said, if we received all this evil, that's why we shall That's receive it. the good. That's it. The Lord kept his word and brought down righteous judgment. We sin, we got punished. That means what? Hey, hey, he said, not my way is equal, and your way is not equal, man. Hey, you know? And that's the humility. To be getting your ass beat and say, shit, the Lord is right. I deserve this. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Daniel 9 is a good precept to that, man. He said, we, 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 uh, uh, are, it says the same thing, man. So the Lord is righteous for doing these things because we not we obey not his prophets, man. Mm. That's humility, man. <laughs> I said, what? Why do I? Why I'm doing all this? This too much, Lord. That's too much to bear. <laughs> hey, man, this is what the hell we heard, man. Really, we. Hey, Job said we got less than no, no, Nehemiah. That's the. Ezra said we got less than I didn't deserve. Man. It says, Yea, true are all thy works. Thy ways are right, and all thy judgments true. All of them. See, and, and, and see, 
And this is a lesson to you brothers that go through shit in the faith. When you're going through shit to the faith, you deserve to go through the things that you're going through. Yes, All right? And, 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 and sometimes it might not even appear to be that. But the most high got you. And he's perfecting you for a reason. So if he's jacking your ass up, he's jacking you up, which is your perfection, for a reason. If you allow the perfection to take this through course. But we sit over there, just like the kid who's getting the ass with. He's so busy trying to get out of the jail, you know what I'm saying, versus actually understanding why you win the goddamn jail. If you understand that we in the jail because we deserve to be in the goddamn jail, then you take that shit, right? And, you, and how the Lord will tell you to take joy in your persecution? Be, be happy in your affliction. Yeah, because it's working for something. Come on, man. It's working for you. I ain't never seen somebody, as a matter of fact, and we watch the MMA all the time. I ain't never seen a fight get bam, bam, boom, pow, and do like this. Right. Except for uh, good. Most ancient fighting, most of the ones that make the world's best fighting in here, like. Oh, Chad. Chad. And, and, and his ass is blowing and fucking. Yeah. Smiling. Yeah. Like, yeah. That kind of life. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's rare. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that was before the Lord was like, yeah. 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 The Lord is jacking us up and we understand. It's like, you know what, the water, Lord. The water for this correction. Because if you were correcting me, that means I'm a bastard. Because the Lord said, uh, um, uh, what's this? Have you endured chances? Right, if you endured chances. If you endured chances, you're a son. I'm a bastard. Yeah, the key word is endure. If you're going through, see, everything, like you said, 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 Get the squeeze they flash and they put on a, a fake smile. They got an Instagram smile. Oh, I'm living good. For well, 30 seconds, then they go right back to their damn hell. Right? And we all going through it, but the key thing he says, we endure the chastity. Right? He said, if you endure it, the Lord gave it to us. Because that's, that's men that come into this truth, went through some affliction, and fell out. They didn't endure the chastity. Those men, they wasn't counted as sons. But the Lord, through the Spirit, he's pulling us through, man. He continued to pull us through to the point where he pulled us up, man. Right? Yep. But that key, that, that, that key word is endured, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, the thing is, is in, uh, he said, uh, you know, no chastening for the present seemed to be joyous, but grievous. All right, but afterward, it worked the peaceable fruit of righteousness if you keep your integrity and do what's right, man. But at the time, it's like, fuck, you're going through it, and it's like, oh, feel good. It's like, damn. But overall, you still like, call halal, you y'all watch him, y'all was shot. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to jump to 15 now. Nevertheless, in a contrite heart and a humble spirit, let us be accepted. And, and let, that's the key, the contrite heart. King David said it. All right? He said a broken heart and a contrite spirit is, 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 is a delight to the Most High. And it pleased the Most High to bruise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot. He wants us to be in that, that humble, yes, Lord, I've done fucked up state, and I'm trying to get my shit together. Right? Right. Now I remember the phrase. Job, it said, Job did not charge the Lord foolishly. He didn't blame the most high for it. Right. He, right. he, he said, just killed me. He said, yeah. just killed me. Yeah. Right. He right. never charged the Lord. He just, this is your fault. Right. Right. Yep. Like some do. And they, you know, like my brother, you know what I'm saying? Uh, said one day, you know, well, why the Lord allow these little kids and stuff to, you know, be killed like this? Why he, like it's his fault. You know what I'm saying? Like he's the problem, all right? Uh, well, uh, now that I've seen a, 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 a video, uh, uh, somebody was like, uh, uh, why the Lord create evil? You know what I'm saying? Why the Lord create evil? If, if people don't understand the mind of the Lord, man. If evil never existed, there'd be no such thing as good. Well, it'll well, just be. Well, I, I, was, I would say, well, why the Lord create you? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? Why the Lord create you? Because here it is that, that in the wisdom of the Most High God, there is balance, man. There is a creator. There is a creation. The creator is all good. All right? See, the, 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 the creation, all right, it, it, uh, uh, it's not the creator. All right, there's a, a balance. There's a, 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 he said, in the works of the Most High, there is two and two. So just like the brother said, you wouldn't know good without eating. All right, but go ahead. Let's, let's, let's you know. Verse 16, like as in the burnt offering of rams and bullocks, and like as in tens of thousands of fat lambs, so let our sacrifice be in thy sight this day, and grant that we may 
holy go after thee, hey. for they shall not be confounded. Holy go after thee. Yeah. That's why the most high man, man. The most high is he, he, he's the power. He don't want some of you. He don't want majority of you. He want all of you. And, 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 I, and I don't blame him. I don't want to, I would never want to enter a relationship with this for the fuck happened. I wouldn't want to have a fuck be all of them. I don't want some of the burger. I want all of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have some of the burger. I want all of the burger. So if he's the most high, when he, when he wants to the holy, give ourselves to him. All right? For they, they shall not be confounded that put their trust in thee. And now we follow. Hey, think about somebody who really don't trust you. How much do you trust them? When you sit there, I'm like, I got it. I'm putting myself on the oh, okay. All right, you keep on. I'm telling them, I'm gonna put all this shit out here. I'm not gonna keep doing this motherfucking thing. Don't come over here take advantage of this shit. You gonna pull it back. The low side does the same thing he wants it. He said, look, I gave you the son. I gave you the money. I gave you every motherfucking thing. You can't give me you. You can't give me your heart. You can't give me your soul. You can't give me your mind. You motherfuckers all got reservations, man. Why? For wickedness, man. Because anything outside the most high is wicked and off. Go ahead, brother. And now we follow thee with all our heart. We fear thee and see. The only way you can do that is if you've been brought to the goddamn bottom already. And you lost every fucking thing. These niggas ain't lost shit yet. Because they hold on to nothing. Fucking stupid motherfuckers. Go ahead. But it's not to shame, but deal with us after thy loving kindness and according to the multitude of thy mercies. Deliver us also according to thy marvelous works and give glory to thy name, O Lord Yahweh, that all them that do thy servant hurt be ashamed. And let them be confounded in all their power and might, and let their strength be broken, and let them know that thou art Yahweh, the only true power, and glorious over the whole world. And the king's servants that put them in cease not to make the oven hot with, oh, uh, is it resin? Yeah, they heated it up. Yeah, sorry, I got that whole Pitch, towel, and, pitch, yeah. and small wood so that the flame streamed forth above the furnace 40 and 9 cubits. And it passed through and burnt those Chaldeans it found <laughs> about the furnace. But the angel of the Lord came down into the oven together with Azarias and his fellows and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven and made the vents of the furnace as it had been a moist whistling wind so that the fire touched them not at all neither hurt nor troubled them <laughs> and, and if we understand that's how we're going to be delivered yeah. empowered right? Right? it's going to be empowered the most high is going to do it to divine that again divine that sound like a lesson it's going to be divine intervention that saves us because if it wasn't for him intervening, right. we would not have that one. Quick, just a fast one. Yeah, we, we, got, we got uh, a line. You know what I'm saying? First, we'll first Peter 4 and 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Oh. Point being, though, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. You know? By the hands of that chin, chin, chin. What you got, Shatari? Uh, I, I was just saying the reason why we was going through these trials and these tribulations uh, it's because of the disobedience to Yahweh Bahashah and Yahweh Shah. Right. And these are the things that we have to go through. Uh, this is James, first chapter, second verse. It says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into Dabba's temptation. You even see, call it joy? Yeah. Call it call joy. It's a devil another joke. <laughs> It yeah. don't feel like that. Yeah, Everybody right. go, what am I doing? How am I going to do this, Lord? This is the problem. This motherfucker hit my car. Now I can't get my, my road is a fucking bag. And now I got to go to work. And I, I Lord said, no, smile. Yeah. Smile, nigga. Uh, yeah. Because uh, it's going to be a way out. Yeah. Hey, and we're in the, 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 the you know, company of, yes. you know, the, the, the prophets before. Yes. All right. The <laughs> men of the Lord before and ultimately Yahweh shot. Like partakers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so this is a legacy. All right. Ooh. This is a legacy, and you are part of it, all right? If you're if you're keeping your faith, you're keeping your integrity. So count it all joy, because he said that the sufferings of this present time cannot be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in you, man. You this said is, this is a legacy, right? Yes. Do you know what the definition of the word legacy means? What, hit it, hit me. This is the word legacy. It's because it goes deeper than just what we think it is. Yeah. Body of person sent on a mission. Mission. 
Ambassador. Man. Envoy. Deputies. Man. Sent with a commission appointed as deputy appointed by a last week. See, the great commission, man, or that our Lord commissioned. And, and, and to be a part of that? What? That legacy? Yeah, I wish I said it. St. John the 17th chapter. I pray that thou take them out of the world. Uh, right, uh, uh, I pray that thou take it, uh, them not out of the world, but that, that thou keep them from the evil. The water. You know? That's the yachty chapter. Right, you know, and, and that's the whole thing, man. We don't want to get caught up with that evil, man, that the Lord is coming to bring upon this place, man. All Lord, right, Lord, and the of the Lord, we, we persuade man. man. That's it. So we count it all joy and all part of it. He says we glory in tribulation, knowing that it worketh something, man. But go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. And it says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect. Woo! And that word patience means to suffer long. Mm -hmm. It means to endure. All right? <laughs> and the only way you can endure is basically putting up with the pressure Going back to that chair, going with the pressure yeah. of the ship. Yeah. Hey, read that uh, uh, verse again, brother. Okay. Uh, this is James, first chapter, and this is, uh, I started three again. It says, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Uh huh. But let patience have her perfect work. Let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect. <laughs> That's the point, man. That's the point of this present evil world that we, the chosen children of the Most High God, the Israelites, may be perfect to rule in the earth for eternity right. in righteousness with the ways of the Most High God. We're the per it says in due time, it says the Most High uh, has the power over the earth and in due time, he set it up over it, one that is profitable. One that is profitable for the earth and those that's in it, man. So in due time, right? So in that time, before it was due, all right, we had to go through our trials and tribulation and perfecting process, man. So if you cast off all these things, then you're not going to be perfect. That's why it says how uh, 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 some were born in vain. All right, this wasn't here for us uh, uh, to uh, uh, live our best life and be live amongst these, life. right? And, and, and get, get a part of the portion that was given to these heathen men. Hey, with, with, with chemtrails, yeah. with motherfucking goddamn it, genetically modified organisms. Man, you out your mind. You're talking about with motherfucking homosexuality. Yeah, you're talking about with all the badness and wickedness in the world, and this is the place I live my best life at. Like? Man, you out your mind, man. Yeah. The gross darkness comes to the earth. That's right, gross darkness and gross darkness, darkness the people, man. Yeah. That's why he said in Psalms 82, all, he said, he said, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. That means every way the way they should be is actually the opposite of where they need to be. It's just, mm -hmm. I, I, I would not want a, a glory in the land when the woman is over the man. That makes no sense. There's no glory to us. We can't have glory when the woman is over us. Yeah. Yeah, well, when, when all those things are backwards, man, when, when, when weak is over strong, when dumb is over smart, right. when, servant over master. Exactly. How's the servant over yes. the master? Yeah, everything is backwards, man. So in a place that's slated for destruction, right. there is no hope. That's it. You know what I'm saying? For a place that's slated for destruction, you want to live your best life in that? So now go back to Noah. And what Noah had to go through. The Lord said in the uh, Genesis chapter that the wickedness was so great in the earth. He said it was great, uh, uh, that the, uh, the wickedness was so great that every imagination of continually uh, evil. Said it again. Every imagination of man was to continually do evil. And, 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 all right? and so to the point where the Lord said, no, no, I'm going to have to destroy the earth. I'm going to have to flood this bitch. We have now gotten to the same spot but worse uh, now so now it's got to be done by the fire and it, 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 it has to be by the fire yeah, yeah. that's how bad it's got yeah Ooh. yep go ahead finish okay that. i'll finish it up uh but but let patience have our perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing Ooh. lacking nothing man 
all right and it, it says entire your whole all right so this is this present evil world all right this is what's perfecting us if we keep in our faith and our integrity and rehearsing life rehearsing the righteous acts all right what you got my brother this goes with what the elders spoke on the generation this is uh ezekiel 6 chapter 12 verse and it reads he that is far off shall die in the pestilence and he that is near shall fall by the sword. And he that is remaining, is received, shall die by the bandits. And this will accomplish my fury upon them. That's right. Hey, now, 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 now this, the, the thing that says going to accomplish his fury, famine, sword, you know what I'm saying? The four sword judgments of the Most High. You really want to fuck with that? Go look at nature, man. Tell me if that gazelle really felt good with that lion killing him. <laughs> then you, sometimes right. the lion plays with it too. Come so, on. So it's a you know like a torturing process. Yeah, it's, it's a not a quick, it's not a quick death. It, it, not always, man. Well, Just like trying to drink some water, they have alligator come out, out right? Come yeah. Out, yeah. Right. You, yeah. You rip your limbs off. They twirl and rip your limbs off while you were alive drowning. You know what I'm saying? See, so God you, you so you think the Lord is all <laughs> rose petals and ice cream and, and goddamn Shit. cotton candy and uh, the Pillsbury Doughboy? Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that. No, the Most High says he's he's a man of war, God. a war. Hey, Have you me. seen that? Just go look at the pictures of war. Yeah. Go look at War World One. She's thinking. Go look at War World Two. All right. How about you? How about you? How about you? Look at the limbs, motherfuckers. With look at go look at the footage of them grabbing people out of the battlefield, oh, half bloody, limbs gone, torn. All right. Imagine them in the middle of the wound. They can't treat you right away. It's a fight. It's still hot. And so they send a medic, and he'll go ahead and take a, a torch or some shit, yeah. and just say, and you get that shit cut. Right. We'll just say, right. and burn that shit yeah. to cauterize the wound right, right there. Yeah. And you out there, ah! <laughs> you don't know. It makes me think of when you were uh, 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 at Merck Camp giving the example of the pain. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. And they don't know blood curling pain. Yeah, weeping, wailing, and when, gnashing of teeth. When you're in a, a, a utter distraught. That's one of my favorite scriptures about destruction is he said, if they do this right now, then the green tree, what about the dry? Niggas are going crazy now, and it's a green tree. So wait till this shit get fucking dry. Wait till niggas can't get their fucking blood. Wait till niggas can't go to the liquor store. The blood and that liquor Cigarette. comb and get that cigarette. Cigarette. Yes, I know the cigarettes. Cigarettes is worse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't that get they. Hey, the motherfuckers can't get they cigarette. <laughs> they about to go crazy, man. And then what's worse than that? Food. <laughs> oh man, man. And I mean, look, you go. Uh, uh, fuck it. We used to say this back in the day. We used to say it again. A fucking ketchup packet, a hot sauce packet, a honey packet is gonna be a commodity. Motherfuckers gonna be like, I'm gonna be mad. It does like. You remember that episode of Sopranos? Then I get a dab of sauce. Hey, y'all don't know the times is coming. He said like never before, man. A time like never before. So it, it, it's, it's, it's high time to awake out of sleep and hide up under the shadow of y'all about shit y'all shot. And it's truth, man. They was stuck lost. <laughs> they niggas stuck out there for like three days. They was ready to kill each other for the motherfucking ketchup in the car. That's it. Yeah, they found that shit in the car. Them niggas was ready to go flow. See, that's it. That shit, man. See, and this and that, they make mockery of that shit. But that's real shit. Because guess what? I guarantee you, every motherfucking block, if you go see all these nigga houses, it's going to be that drawer in the fucking kitchen that's going to have some packet, honey yeah, yeah, packets, yeah, yeah, and a fucking ketchup packets and mustard packets that they never fucking use. They gonna have that motherfucking red uh, hot uh, pressure peppers with a piece of shit. Uh, 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 Parmesan cheese. And it's gonna be in that motherfucking drawer. It's with the twisty ties. It's with your motherfucking uh, uh, the soy sauces and all that shit. Ball for A and ball for That's a bountiful feast. Yes, <laughs> the motherfucking boy. Hey, you know how we had to get syrup, syrup sandwiches? Niggas making right. salads. Yeah. Niggas yeah. making yeah. salads yeah. out of that soy shit. Soy sandwich sandwiches without the bread. Right? Uh, <laughs> that's it. Right, right. That's it. Damn, man. That's it. Yeah. And that's what the Lord said. Say it again, Elder. Tag on the season make children with that shit. That's right. And you that's think sound. this is a fucking joke? C uh, fucking uh 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 uh. What's it? Uh, ca ca cannibalism? It's coming oh, back. Mustard Ray Ray. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hey, keep saving them packets. Keep saving them packets because you're gonna be your little snot nose. 
I'm pissing on yourself, little bitty ass kid. All these bitches got five, six, seven, eight kids. Three, four, <laughs> five different baby goddamn daddies. You don't need no man looking ass. But where your man and your baby daddy at? You ain't got one, goddammit. Hey, you know, and, and like one of the mother guys said, all these bitches, once they get that one and that second child or whatever, they already solidified themselves to be stuck in this single dumb period. Because right. no real nigga want a fucking goddamn ready made fucking family. That's he want right. to make his own right. family. That's right. right. How the fuck I'm going to get with you? You got five, six kids, and I want to have three or four of my damn self. <laughs> Next thing I got a baseball team, and I can't afford that shit. That's right. The kids that, that, don't love you neither. Man, this place yeah. is fucking. And the woman won't. She always gonna put them kids before you. Uh, mm -hmm. She, she all. They, they got this thing. They, they kids. They, they son is they king. Hey, they, they gonna be eating king. a real big king uh -huh. when they hey, when that day comes. Real brother king. Huh? Uh -huh. The real brother king. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and for the record. That, that, I, I, I got the clip. We don't really put the clip. We don't play it because YouTube will just take the shit down. But the Jewish, the small hat guy said, and we already, uh, it's hundreds of thousands of kids go missing a year. We go put these motherfuckers and we, we drink their blood. We take their bodies. We take to the slaughterhouses. Oh, yeah. McDonald's is our number one fucking uh, uh -huh. restaurant. I said, when, you, when you go to these motherfuckers, right around the corner, oh, you get you a human burger right here, right around the corner. Yes, you want right. a motherfucking human burger? Go, go to McDonald's, goddammit. See. Go to Mac fucking Donalds, bro. Hey, they putting that they, 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 land, land, air, and sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, was, that was in there? Yeah. I was thinking about what Batak said in that uh, the episode of Sopranos. Those were like family members, you know, people that had been with each other for, you know, yeah. 20, 30 years, God, man. And then, hey, within three days, they were ready to kill each other. Because, you know, within three days of not eating, ketchup. they were ready to kill each other over a pack of uh, a ketchup, man. See, see, see. Yeah, that's so people don't go, no, so but, but people don't go into the psychology of, 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 of different, uh, different uh, suffrage. All right? When you talk about, um, somebody give me Lamentations, the, uh, the fourth chapter. He said, know. they pine away. Give me where they talk about. Get where they pine. Because, see, the Lord will break down that the dichotomy of actually hunger and what it does to the psychological body, what goes to the mind, what goes to the spirit and the soul. You start lamenting for these teats and these, these fruits of the field, man. That's right. To the point where, after, matter of fact, the, the, what the science, the, the most scientists say, I mean, uh, the researchers say, uh, most, uh, an average person in America has maybe two to three days worth of food. <laughs> All right? So after the third day, you know what they're doing? They're eating the stuff that got nothing to go with. Remember, uh, and that's the average American. That's not going to count in South Park Negroes because they got less. Right. Because they depending, they on, depending on what time of the month it is, yeah, they, they got less, yep. man. Yep. And you, you, you go to Jake House and you go open up. Have you ever went to Jake House and open up the refrigerator versus going to Edomite House? and open a refrigerator. I yeah. didn't understand the difference until I was living in Mount Pleasant and then I ended up going to Grand Rapids, Michigan and so forth. And my so-called friend at the time, Jordan, this week, crack a demon gonna get destroyed. Uh, I went to his people's house, opened up the refrigerator, no sound. Five, I got I got five, six, seven different top of the line cereals. That nigga got, LeBron James said some shit about that. He said, man, I ain't know, I didn't even know what a pantry was till I went to these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? We don't, they don't. They don't because what's the nigga's pantry ain't shit. Say we got one box of cereal on the top of the refrigerator. And you and that's you these might these have that. Bigger than my bedroom. It had the fruit browns, not the fruit rolls. Oh, yeah, right. oh, Y'all got cocoa food. pebbles. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you got cocoa rocks and shit. But but see, but most people, most families. Uh, they don't have even 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 my to Jake. After three days to four days, a week or so, you're going to have nothing to fucking eat. That's right. Yeah. And then you go into the bear, the, the bear yeah. shit. You have the you have the pancake mix. No you water. Saying, no water. No water. No, you know what I'm no gas. You got, the, you got the flour. But nothing. Nigga you know snorting saying, lines of pancakes. You got the eggs. And you got the butter. You ain't got the. So you gonna start having one thing and not the other. This is where it's heading. Ham hey, no bread. Ham hey, no burger. You got the, you got the, uh, I got the peanut butter and no jelly. I got the, the, the cereal and no motherfucking milk. You know what I'm saying? Got my mouth all ready for some hash browns. You ain't no hash man. But that's what we're about to, you know it's going to be hash kids. That's right. All right? Shit. That's right. It's going to be hash kids. Yeah. Extra right. max sauce. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no, who got the the the, the, the I got it. I got it. All right, go to start uh, a little bit before that pint of the way. 
Uh, this is Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, Their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaving to their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. When you get hungry and you're dark, you get darker. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, uh, you, you, you start bloating. Okay, and you start withering away. Because what happens? Yep, yep. That's when your stomach gets big, and because your body is starting to what? Digest. It's eating itself. All right. That's the first stage of uh, of, of of hunger, extreme hunger of a famine. Go ahead. Verse nine. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. The Lord said, "It's better to get killed with a knife." It's better to get killed with a missile. It's better to kill with a gun. It's better to be killed with a sword or any sharp cutting instrument that could cut into your flesh and cut you smooth and kind of quick. Because even if, if, if even if somebody hit your karate, they are male or male. You might bleed out, but even then that still will be relatively quick. You will bleed out within a couple of you know minutes to you know whatever. And so that's going to be easier than this hunger. Go ahead. This is. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, pine away, stricken through what? It's like he said, stricken through for one of the fruits of the field. So then he said, you pine away. That means it's a mental war. It's hallucination. It's hallucination. Yeah. It's a physical war where you're getting so hungry. It's like, if you go back into Masada, they were eating shit they can't even digest. Leather, Leather belts. Yeah. They eating wood bark and shit. The shit there's like <laughs> no, no, whatever. I, I, this is wood. It gotta have some nutritional value in this shit. <laughs> Even when you go to um, like, you know, the count, I believe it was Elisha. The famine was in the land. Yeah. They was eating oh. dove shit. Yeah. Yeah. They sold dove That's shit for a high ass price. That's right, brother. That's right. They would take they, the, the birds fly, take a shit. Motherfucker was like, I know. Got that dove shit. Hey, got that dove. Hey, got that dove boo boo. Got that boo boo. That's like the Lord. Hey, hey, that's 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 like Lord is amazing too because he, he you know, it says he gives you that delusion. They didn't think to set a trap to catch the damn dove, that's right. which is lawful to eat. That's right. They that's right. ate the damn shit. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and, and then yeah. instead, of, that's we crazy, said boy. we said this thing. There'll be famine here. There'll be a whole bunch of pigeons and motherfuckers walking right past the pigeons, just like that. And that's your food right there. Just like on you, it could be a fucking um. The plantains that's in the in, uh, that looks like weed in any one of the Chicago Park districts. You're talking about several uh, uh, naturally growing what it looks and what white man calls a weed. Wow, that is that is that is that is and yep. all that. Yep, and niggas one. will walk right over there. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> Stepping right over their food oh, and not so even know it, man. Yeah, walk past a rose bush. Eat yes. roses too. That's right. You just walk Bitter as hell, but you eat roses too. Man. Shit, some of the petals taste good. <laughs> that's <laughs> certain, <laughs> certain flower petals that actually taste yeah. wonderful, very yeah. delightful. Niggas don't know. And in the, even the bitter shit, all you gotta do is cook it and season it, and, and that tastes good. You say that just. Come on, that right? You gotta get that right. So why not? But no, but see, that's the shake. You want that Ray Ray burger, that Ray special, man. That's right, baby Ray. Man, yeah, sweet yeah, baby Ray. Ain't talking about the barbecue sauce. Sweet baby Ray Ray. Sweet baby Ray Ray. Sweet baby Ray Ray. Go ahead, brother. Lamentations chapter four, verse ten. The hands of the pitiful women have signed their own. Swim it, whoa, 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 who? The hands of the pitiful women. That's why I don't pity you motherfucking wicked ass bitches out here, man. That's right. Who think you are motherfucking right. strong enough to be equal with the man, to be stronger than the man, to be like the Lord is dealing with your motherfucking ass. And these bitches are so fucking wicked. If you ask them a question, like is man and women equal, yes. So, so, oh, so, yeah. so here comes uh here comes Conor McGregor about to whip my ass. You gonna step in there and beat his ass? Then well, you the man. Yeah, yeah, man, you the man. I thought, I thought, you the man, bitch, go. <laughs> Beat his ass. Now, while you dealing with Cutter, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> man, one of these bitches was on the train in New York, and uh, it wasn't no chance, and this bitch get, gave a whole dissertation yelling at niggas, talking about why they didn't want to get a chair up. Like, and nobody gave it to them. You got a motherfucking ball bitch. fade talking about why don't niggas want to get a chair up. <laughs> That's it. I Just sit yeah, but but it said uh read but read that again. <laughs> this Lamentations chapter four and verse ten. The hands of the pitiful women have signed in their own children. So guess what? Miss Holy Fan. Guess what, Instagram Queen? I didn't do bad by myself. Uh, <laughs> and, oh, oh the one bitch, she didn't even say that. She got oh, she started putting money on her nigga. So I don't need a roommate that I'm having sex with. 
I can just go pay my own 100% and take care of my kids. Well, you're going to do that, man. Them kids going to become your lunch, man. That's right. That's, that's your king. You're going to have, like the brother said, a big king. That's the original, the original big king. That's it. Extra crispy. That's it. 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 And you we might be laughing about this, but this is some real shit. That's bro. right. Because yeah. yeah. these motherfuckers are really going to be eating. You yeah. gotta, you get, imagine the bitch at the Walmart say, get, get your ass over here. I say, get your ass over here. Drag it. <laughs> That's lunch, nigga. And the way they treat these kids, it probably ain't going to be hard for them. No, no it's hell. lunch. They don't care. They, 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 if they say if you if you give your children Christmas presents, you will eat your child. If you give your children uh, uh, Easter shit eggs, you're gonna eat your child. <laughs> you do not care for them. Because if you care for them, you wouldn't be doing that with your shit. That's right. You and your common sense will say, "Well, damn, I've been I've been buying my child presents all year long. Why well, I gotta go save one extra day to go go extra broke?" Follow this old stuff. No, no, nigga, get your ass over here. You, you, you selling your ass out on this other shit? That means you weren't willing to eat your shit. Well, yeah, they give that shot over to the fire when they do those things. That's, That's it. right. Urban, so they definitely will. Yep. You already got bitches killing their children in the ovens any fucking way. Uh, they say bitches bugged out. Uh, well, they kill them now, but give them the, 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 the stabbings and shit. Sit up there, take a five year old child, take them to the goddamn clinic, and, 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 and stabby wabby jock your ass there. Scripture says, give them warning from me, man. This is what we're doing. We're giving the warning of the hectic and chaotic times that's to come, man. And you can think that it's a joke, all right? Or you can give heed, straighten up and fly right so the Lord can protect you in those days because this is what the scripture says. This is Isaiah 65 and 12. It says, therefore will I number you to the sword and ye shall bow down to the slaughter. I don't know who she talked to on the phone. I don't give a fuck about this shit. I'm gonna go do my fam, and he gonna watch that. And I just motherfucker. This is what they own. And if you would have saw the specimen, <laughs> right. Right. proud for what? It was no reason to be proud. Wow. It's and, I'm, and I'm gonna, like I'm, I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that. That's the bitch that they got power, man. You won't have no power. That's right. Yep. It says uh, Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. So you didn't want to bow down to me, go bow down to something. That's right. When I bow down to death, right there. Right? Yes. When I spake, ye did not hear. And here it is. The Lord is speaking right now through his men. All right? It says, uh, when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. See, see for the most how to do that, that's a calculated judgment move to say, oh, so you've been you've been bullshit, you've been sacking, you've been doing that. Okay, so now here, smorgasbord. You, yeah. Yeah. most of us not. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm not a power, and that's not a uh, to, 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 to forget. We uh, no. reward them that diligently seek. All right, if you do the things the Lord say do, He's going to roll, roll, roll it, just roll it out for you, like He told King Solomon. Just because you didn't ask for all the riches and the victories and shit. But you actually wisdom to, to lead my people. Now I'm give you everything. You know what I'm saying? And it's the exact same opposite if you did been neglecting the whole time. Second is uh, the ninth chapter. Alright? And them that loathe my law. Alright? And don't want to, 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 to hear the will and, the, and, the, and obey the word of God. He said they were going to know it by death, by pain. That's right. And then if you go really deep in the scriptures, he says he's going to cast your own imaginations upon you. So if you really, the type you're scared of a famine, you're going to the famine. 
if you're the one who got real scared of a, dying by an animal, it will be a fierce beast for you. That's right. All right? <laughs> if, they, if, they, if you sit there and you don't want to be tortured to death, you will be water dripping and, and tortured. The Lord got the whatever specifically is designed for you, but whatever you hate, the Lord's going to bring it upon you. Scared of spiders? Then uh -huh. uh, those are... Uh, those uh, arachnids uh, yeah. from, uh, goddamn, yeah. what was that movie? Uh, the big ones, the big legged freaks? No, uh, I, I know, yeah, I know yeah. the, one, the one that was strapping up humans. The, 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 the big human cobwebs, the ones that we get stuck in the shit. Oh, yeah, it was a movie. Or, yeah, or even the movie, uh, uh, Jumanji, the, 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 uh, yeah. the, 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 the yeah. last one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 Where, where, man, them spiders was they're, they're big as a building, or a house, rather, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And they would right, right. So here it is. That's what I'm saying. Like they were saying, man. Listen, Custom the Lord age. gonna get at you, man. Matter that's of fact, it. let's finish this off. Uh, that's uh, one quick point. Hey, the Lord yeah. said He's not a power that the light and death, man. Right. He'll rather you repent. Yeah. But He He sent the service to prophets rather early. Said you got these abominable things that I hate. Then you won't listen. You pull the shoulder. Yeah. That's it. Shit. And He hate that. Hell yeah. That's why He got us. Well, we're the, we do this work for scared. We don't want those things, right? right? But he still got us laughing at him because and he said we're going to laugh and mock at your judgment, man. Right. All right, so what when we let this see that shit happen, we will laugh. That's it. That's right. You see a bitch, help me, help me. Shit. <laughs> hey, what, what the kid said? He said, if the Lord don't no. help you, he said, if the Lord don't help you, how am I going to help you? Yes. That's, That's right. going to be responding. Right. Like, right. Shit. Pray right. to the Lord. Right. 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 Hey, hey, ask sweet Jesus. Yeah. And right, right, right. the Lord said, go to the gods you pray to, man. That's it, that's it. It's too late then, man. That's it. And, and that's cold-blooded, though, because I would do the same thing. I would, matter of fact, I, I saw the little meme or whatever, uh, what did I mean, but uh, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever. Dude kept with gentlemen, he's like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. And the bitch is like, she rolled the window like, I got a boyfriend. And he was like, I was just trying to let you know your tire's flat. Oh, can you help me? He was like, no, ask your motherfucking boyfriend. And rolled the window up and dipped off. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like I'm, the Lord's been in trying to. We know that, that that one proverb: the motherfucker stranded on this house. Nigga come in a canoe, come by. Nigga come in a helicopter, come by. Say I got you. Said no, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on my the ride that I'm expecting. Right. To the point that the motherfucker floods come over to take him because he refused to the, the salvation of the Lord. The Most High's been having his head. He said his hand is stretched out still. His hand is stretched out still. His hand is stretched out still. Yep. And when you're not grabbing it, you know what you're doing? You slap it in the way. Yep, yep. Like you said, turn in the back. You turn your back to the most high, man. And then you pull the shoulder to the most high, the most high gonna pull his shoulder on you. That's right. Yeah. You have not uh, forsaken me with your own selves. That's it. Uh, that's it. Perfect. That, that, uh -huh. See, Jake, that, that, they don't realize that they're really just forsaken in themselves. The Lord's got his hand out there. He's trying, you know, to save you. And like how the elders say, hey, you're slapping it away. That's it. Hey, you, you people out your goddamn minds, man. That's right. Uh, don't, don't pull it back, Lord. Just give me a second, because I want to make that thirty thousand dollars real quick. Yeah. Remember that dude? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I make that thirty G's, I'll be back. Look at that. He's still been waiting. He ain't ever got. He's still trying to get it, bro. Exactly. So uh, it says, uh, I'll hit that verse twelve again. Isaiah sixty-five and twelve. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down. To oh no, thirteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord: Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, and ye shall be ashamed. See, niggas are so stupid. At that time when the famine and all that shit go, it could be a body of uh, a water. It's like that right there, dude, standing right there, that puddle. A nigga be like, oh, oh, finally water. And just put his face right back in it. Don't know he drinking oil, and it breathes, and shit is gonna kill him. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they just death. The Most High got everybody in a trick bag. If you are not, if you're for Him, you got to you gonna you gonna you gonna be happy. Well, yeah. If right? You're one of the servants, man. That's if it. you're truly serving Him, all right. If you're truly ministering, all right, and and, and uh, uh, ushering in our Lord's second coming, man. That's it. If and you're you ushering win. in the kingdom of heaven and kingdom mind, that's it. And if you're kingdom minded, then that's what you're gonna extol your house shot. All right, you're gonna walk even so as he walked. All right, to the best of your ability, man. All right, though his servants are gonna, like he said, I, uh, you know, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou has given me, uh, given me, because they are uh, uh, thine, and thine are mine. And they said, and I am glorified in them. All right, if you a servant, then you glorifying him on the earth today. That's right. All right, and that's your job, that's your mission, that's your life. That's it. 
that's it. That those are those who truly serve, who's glorifying Yahweh Shah, who's extolling Yahweh Shah. And if you go glorifying and you're always talking about him and you, he's at the, the, the pedestal, he's the example, all right, that we should follow. And if that's the case, then arm yourself likewise with the same mind, okay? Because it says, verse 14, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. Right? This is what's going to happen. Who See, right? It says, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. That goes back to what we were saying earlier. That when, when that shit really is getting in there, yeah. there you're going to hear nothing but those screams of Egypt. And that was not no pleasant screams. Right? No, not at all. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have, if you ever had a child, you that's the one person on the planet you don't want nothing to happen to. When the Lord struck all the first born, the the gut the guttural Man. cry Man. was like blood curdling. Yeah. It was blood curdling. I don't even want to reenact it because it's not going to be justice. Right. It's only going to be a reenactment. Right. And, 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 and it's going to cut to the bone where somebody else see you. They don't want to do something just trying to even come to your aid, but they won't be able to because they're going to have been already in their own loss. Right. So when you see everybody in their own losses and that howling. That howling, that yelling, that, that, that cry, and it's deservably so. That's right. Because you've been neglecting Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and when you neglect Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, guess what you're doing? You're hurting yourself, like you mentioned, but guess what else you do? You're hurting each other. Right? Pain begets pain, disobedience begets pain. Because if I'll go off with the Lord, I'm going off by hurting something that the Lord said don't do, which will hurt myself and someone else. you all right against the lord and then subsequently to the people around you all right it's going to have if i sit up there and say let me go i'm gonna let them build house and house now everybody on that block is next everyone all, the whole block so now we have a little fight night we want to go get the taco stand outside my house and i gotta worry about um excuse me um this is on my side of the property uh -huh. even though it's not <laughs> nothing there that you can even use over there and you don't even come over there because now, if that's your side, I want to come out my side door and see you lounging around in your lingerie and <laughs> sunbathing, bitch. Because that's just what you want to do on the side of the fucking house. The sin compounds and builds and spreads and corrupts, all right? Because one lie gets another lie gets another lie. It's a web of deceit, a web of fucking of hatred and, and destruction, man. That's why the Most High doesn't, he doesn't deal with the sin, man. If you do, he that loves sin, uh, Hey, what is it? Uh, yeah, hate of me. Uh, love the death. Love the All right? You, 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 in the sin, you know that you love death and you love destruction because you're going to get it. Right. I got two points. Go ahead, brother. There's Proverbs chapter 11 and 17. The merciful man do good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. That's it. That, you brought that out last week. You know, and, 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 and I remember that because I was going to use that for a precept. And I, and I kept it in my mind. You know what I'm saying? And I have still haven't done it yet, so it's still, it's still in there. But read it again. This is Proverbs chapter right here. It's Proverbs 11 and 17. It's Proverbs 11 and 17. The merciful man do good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubles his own flesh. You see, when you disobey the Heavenly Father, you be cruel, you be wicked, you trouble your own flesh. Go ahead. I got another one. This Proverbs 8 and 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, work of his own soul. All they that hate me love death. You wrong your own soul, you trouble yourself, you hate, you hate, you, you, you bring upon yourself death and destruction. Uh, Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 4 I will also choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called none did answer 
When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. And they, I, uh, what the Heavenly Father is doing, he's extending salvation. He's extending his mercy to our people. When you walk past him in the Lord, when you scroll past that YouTube video, but what do you do? You don't acknowledge him on uh, hey, hey. Listen to it and get edified. You, you, you tell the Lord, I don't need your help. I don't need you, God. So guess what? Since you uh, chose not to uh, answer when the Lord called you, he says, uh, He's gonna put you under that delusion. He's gonna bring your peers upon you, man. Ultimately, he's gonna judge you. Why? Right. You hated the knowledge. You didn't. Uh, he wasn't proactive, and they sent you into the Lord when you called him. And it was just all to your own detriment, all to your own demise. That's why the scriptures say, "Thou art inexcusable, old man." All right? Because you, you ain't got no excuse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got another one. Yes, I'm just. No, I'm just gonna say to, to piggyback what you just said. That's like saying. Uh, you know, uh, how many people ready to go to heaven? Ooh, me. Uh, but I got this uh, statement. Right. right. You know. hey, that's, that's what they told you, Howard Shot. When they say, Howard Shot, come follow me. He said, oh, Lord, I'm coming. I, I promise you, I'm coming. <laughs> but I just bought this field, and I just got the oxen, too. And I, I, I got I to gotta go plow this real quick. I just got this wife, too. I got to put a little seed in there real quick, Lord. You put and find other things to put before you. How about you now shine the ministry? Man? And what they they do it today too? Oh, I need to. You know, I would serve the Lord and I would you know, go through that, but I, I just got drafted to the NBA. And I, you know, it's a big check. You know? right. and, and and we know people who were actually uh, rookies or first year in uh, uh, no in the league, and they came into the truth and they said, "Fuck the league." And the brothers don't even know a lot of, of what goes on behind the scenes with certain brothers and certain camp. And the brother will come up there. Just went through, had several hundred thousand dollars check on the table, and turned away for the Lord. Man. Yep. That man, that's mighty, man. Oh, it's it's mighty. Man. Right, man. The, the Most High is calling His real sons, man. And, and you have to really give up everything to serve the Most High. Man. That's why Paul, I mean Peter, said it. He said, "Lord, we've given up everything. I've given up all. What you gonna get from giving up that's everything? It. I gave away the, the the scholarship. I gave away this. I gave away that." Right? It's all worth it. Yeah. Don't, I was going to say, you know, don't mind giving up death for life. That's right. That's right. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind giving up wickedness for righteousness. That's right. You know? Because that's what it is. And if it's all worth it at the end, this present evil world is about to be destroyed. The, the fashion of this world is going to bypass, as the scriptures say. Right. This yeah. place is about to get uh, bombarded with, you know, missiles, and it's just going to be a lake of fire very soon. Yeah, so it's just like you know? uh, uh, the lesson. Uh, this place. You know, uh, uh, remember Lot's wife. See, mm -hmm. here it is. She was looking at back at a place because she had hope there. See, but the thing is, is that place was slated for destruction. Right. Why are you out looking back at a place that's slated for destruction? No, I'm, I'm moving on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck looking back. Fuck, fuck mm -hmm. anything back there. Yeah. It's not all about to be destroyed. But she wasn't connected to the spirit. Of the exactly. So she, what she was looking at was hope. My friend back. My friend, exactly. You know, uh, yep. All our stuff. Yes, yeah, stuff. Friend. That's He's it. friends with all the moles too. Yeah, and and, and, and Lot was he, Lot was a prominent man because he was a man of the Lord. So she was thinking about, like you said, the stuff. Right. She was caring about shit. Yeah. And yeah. The cares, and that's why the Lord said, "Why would the Lord even give the commission?" Oh, hey, yeah. I'm about to fuck you know this Don't look back. Thursday, Whatever you do, don't turn around and look at Don't look Jones. back. It's going to fuck you up. Yeah, don't look back. Bitch, I mean, the whole, I bet you from the time yeah, they started walking, like she was thinking, damn, I'm going to look. Damn, I want to look. Damn, I mean, they get a mile or two. I'd say, they're like, damn, she's still, she was holding good. Then that last little. They stomped at me Oh, my God. Right, right, right. And then, 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 and it says, likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, so they built it. It was getting mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day when uh, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house 
Like, hold on, let me go get some more of my stuff. Right, right. Hey, it's, a, it's a comedy sketch about stuff. And I forgot, it was, uh, the guy, he kept saying all about stuff. And the way he said it, it was so brilliant because he just kept bringing about the stuff. Right. And everybody's all about the stuff. Exactly. I don't want to miss my stuff. Exactly. So it says in, the de in that day, he which shall be on the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. <laughs> Remember Lot's wife. Remember who? Remember Lot's wife. Because she was about what? Stuff. stuff. You know what I'm saying? When she would have got a whole bunch of more. Oh, stuff. man. The stuff would have been innumerable. You just had to wait, man. Be patient. You had to wait, man. All right, you had to go through what you had to go through. Be purified and perfected and don't care about death. Don't care about wickedness. Don't care about a present temporal evil world that's slated for destruction, man. That's right. We ain't looking back at this stuff. It's all going to be destroyed, man. And it's all in, in, in wickedness, man. It's all in out of balance, man. See, in the kingdom of heaven, we going to have all the stuff and the correct balance of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. Look, this look, 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 just real quick, uh, this is Matthew 10, 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. You see, right. if you find your life in a present evil world slated for destruction, all right, then you're going to lose it because of this is ultimately slated for destruction. See, but if you lose your life, in a place that's slated for destruction, then you gonna find your life and be saved and have life evermore. All right? So make your body a living sacrifice now. All right? Sacrifice your life in a world that's slated for destruction, man. What you got, brother? I got, I got, uh, two I got this. I got this Luke 21 and 34, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with serpent, and drunkenness and cares of this life. You see, it's right. <laughs> cares of this life. That denotes that you shouldn't care about this present evil world. Does that to say that once you give yourself over to the most high, you can quit me without care? Quit. I, mean, I was just thinking that. That's the spirit. I was just thinking that. All right. Yeah, you have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you're quickly without care. You don't care that, oh, well, tighter restrictions is coming in, and you know, now you can't go, you know, to, to your favorite burger spot. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, God damn. At first, it's like, damn, I can't, I can't, I can't even get my burger. Oh, well, fuck Shit, it. You, you know get what happy, I'm saying? Actually. No, we got, we you, get happy. you get happy? Because then you're like, well, hey, pro now prophecies are starting to Exactly. Pass. And that's how <laughs> your, the mindset should be. It should be a faith booster that, all right, yeah, well, definitely. all right, all these restrictions are coming. All these mandates coming. All these things where I can't even go do the things that I used to like to do. No, you know what right. I'm saying? No more. I went yeah. to take girl to the motherfucking movies the other goddamn day. Couldn't do it. And then I said, well, damn, I can't go in nowhere in Chicago. I said, fuck, well, I remember Orland said, we're not caring about all of that. I heard these some other suburbs saying fuck all that. So I started going to check their shit out. And we still had to go to hey, the lie detector test hey, determined hey. that that was a lie. Hey, I, I, hey, I, call, and I called you yesterday. <laughs> right, I told you, right? Because right, right, right. I was going to shut it down and be done. Right. And I was at Hyde Park. Okay. So I had passed the spot a couple times, Woodline Tap, a little bar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so. That's right over next to the. Uh, the, 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 the yeah, yes, yes the night. Yeah. Yep. And so uh, I was like, yeah, maybe I should just go and roll up in there, see, you know what I'm saying? Have a little brew, a little drink, and see, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so uh, it was crazy because I, I kept working. Once you didn't pick up, I kept working. So I was like, and then I'm, I'm dropping somebody off. I'm dropping somebody off at the Woodline Tap, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and so I dropped them off, and then I'm like, man, I'm like, and I told them, uh, because they, they had got in the car, I was like, ah, I like your car. And then I was like, you want it? You know what I'm saying? I was like, uh, I see you going to Woodline Tap, you know, you offer me a drink, I might get you the car, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, playing around. And so, uh, so we got there, dropped them off, and did like another ride or so. And then I, I pulled up in, in, in front, went pulled back in front, and then I, I just peeped. I'm like, I see some people going in. So I'm like, let me see if they get, uh, you know, uh, you show that if they show. So I show, I, 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 I look, and I seen them show the ID. Then they unfolded uh, a, what a, a card. So I was like, 
that is the uh, uh, the, the, the vaccine. You know, I mean, the, you that's know, the, the that's the car. And so I was like. What we going in there? Yeah. And I was like, and I just started laughing. And hey, I but was you like, know how beautiful it is? I though? rolled off laughing like dummies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know how beautiful it is? That shit for the end, it looks like next week. Yeah. Hey, right, 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 right. Hey, like, what are you doing when you put on the Facebook? She, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the demand date on, on February 28th, I just got this for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Stupid. Nah, you got it because you're going to die. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the beautiful thing is, now all these little bitches that want to go out and shit, I got a reason to, to take them straight to the crib. Right, right. I, I ain't got to worry about dying in the yard. Dying in the yard. Treat like a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now, hey, hey, we're we going to the movies. Can't do it. We're going to the restaurant. Can't do it. Where are we going? Can't get nowhere. Hey, nowhere else. Got that. Go to the house. What are we going to do? Whatever you want. Right. <laughs> I ain't got no chairs, no couches, just a bed. Your heart's been overcharged with surfing and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares, for as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole Some earth. Of them? All of them that dwell on the face of I'm the whole earth. Earth. All of them that dwell on the face of the whole see, earth. See, see, you see, people don't understand that word all. Because all means motherfucking all. The only thing that he said was a part of that all was the ones who are following him now. That's right. Going through now. Being obedient now. Suffering now. But everybody else is going to go through that suffering, that judgment, and that payback. And it's... The Lord says the land can't even be cleansed without the blood that, that, that you know, be shed. shed. The blood right? shed of those who shed. The blood. The blood. Exactly. Right. So guess what? How much blood been shed in America? Ooh. <laughs> That's why he said that that blood is going to be to the uh, uh, horse's bridle. And that was proverbially, but it's sincerely proverbially. Yeah. Yeah. Because guess what? If, if uh, that... Take all the blood from all the dead people that the Most High is about to put the blood, death, and destruction on. And if, 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 if it could, it would reach that high. That's how much bloodshed is for the Lord is about to do upon this place, man. Right? Slain the Lord should be from one end of the earth even to the other. The right. new, the new, the new profession is gonna be what? Burial, burial bins, grave diggers. That's gonna be the new. And in the, the kingdom, the 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 the, the first. Major profession is going to be grave diggers. It's, it's going to be keep the pigs of swinging. That's it. The, the, the niggas ain't going to be shooting no more. Motherfuckers going to be uh, digging. Right? Oh, right. Continual employment. Yeah. They don't have to worry about unemployment rates. We say the state of business. And we got we need this ditch a lot of work out of mind. Well, the state of Yasharala needs all the preachers to get down right now. I got that preacher for that club uh, right now. This is Ezekiel 39 and 14. Yeah, they shall separate out men of continual employment Ooh. passing through the land to bury with the passages those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it. After the end of the seven months shall they search. So, so I mean, he said months. This ain't gonna be no week deal. This ain't gonna be, hey, we need new, uh, We got a couple weekends, we gonna go ahead and knock it. No, it's gonna be <laughs> months where motherfucker continual employment. That's good economics. Hey, man, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, these motherfuckers earn their motherfucking keep. These niggas get two 15s and a 30 every day. That's it. <laughs> no, 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 go no, get them, go no naps, no Do you know the sleep. stench? Do you know the stink? Yeah, no and, and guess what? <laughs> the replenishing. <laughs> Cause they ain't gonna be doing all this embalmings and, and, and all that. This gonna be straight body to, to dirt. Yeah, straight body to dirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. De decomposing and bringing back and putting back how it's supposed to fucking be. Right. Stupid. Who right. is that why? Because he, because he, because he ain't gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? We try. Yeah. A couple times. That's the thing. That's enough. That's a per that's a perfect point. You know what I'm saying? They need to throw. Yeah, yeah, no, we see him. I've seen him a few times now. You know what I'm saying? We walk across, don't say shit, don't, you know. But then I'll see him on, you know, uh, 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 social media for uh, posting it. Uh, uh, they were, it was a thing where people was posting up the uh, Lord's Prayer. Uh, you know, a lot of people was posting up the Lord's Prayer. You know what I'm it's saying? A fad. Right, just a fad. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And have no clue. You know what I'm saying? 
no clue. Some other stuff that was more like, you know, when he prayed to God, you know, that he would. But gone, man. You know what I'm saying? Revolted? Yeah, revolted and gone, man. It, it, it says, uh, 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 you know, drink water out of thine own, own cisterns. cisterns. See, but here it is. Our people, you know, they're drinking water from from their enemy, man. Yeah, broken All right. under every green tree. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Welcome, sisters. Yep. Welcome, we ball. That's it, and that's why they gonna wind up. You know what I'm saying? Having to deal with a uh, uh, bowing down to the slaughter, like the scripture says, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pining away for who? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pining. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. It's, it's only that one. Terrible. Man. One. One understanding. Huh of this bible that you must have faith in that's right, right? to where it says uh for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of your salvation the strength, yeah. that, that's the power of your salvation that's the power of your salvation is having faith and application of this wisdom knowledge and understanding that's why you know everybody wants to go get their rabies shot all right because they, they were perplexed that's why whatever happens next in this world you're gonna be confounded because you don't have the answers. Exactly. That's right. So we understood to stay away from that. We were happy about it. That's one step closer to where we need to be. Exactly. That they, they got they got people riding. You got people out there rioting, getting shot. Well, a nigga just killed somebody in Vegas not wearing their mask. What? Right. Well, right. in fact, somebody he didn't even kill the nigga that did well. He just shot him. The dude lived. He killed himself afterwards though. Shit. All right. He these these people are bugged up. He They're confounded, man. Shit. Confounded. All right. And that's the stability, man. We know what's happening, man. We've been warned. We st we have elders before us standing in the gaps to prepare us, and now we're doing the same thing. That's and it, that goes for you on the caps too, man. You're Come not on. warning the flock. That's they think it's all gonna be hunky dory. Not understanding. Ain't okay. gonna be no Jacob's trouble. Well, yeah. Even yeah. the, the trials yeah. you gotta go through now. They're not prepared for that. They think it's a big it's like party. Right. Hey. So I mean, then they, something happened. Now they all bugged out. They lose the so-called faith they had. Yeah. Tweak them. Yeah, that's right. A place to get jobs and a girl. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Wait, 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 right. Come to the, 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 the IUSBK, get you a job. <laughs> and you that, watch this, because I did a lesson on this yesterday. That, that's why I'm almost speechless. What the fuck, because, man? Because that's what that's about the kingdom? They like them niggas. What about humbling myself before the Lord, man? Right. This is for the building. Uh, that's what the IUSBK school was. The city shut that building down. Then I did a lesson on this is going to be the end of all of the school. All these wicked camps. Damn. All right. The Lord's going to, it's just going to be boarded up. They're going to, the window's going to be darkened. All right. This is where ISUPK, their school here in Chicago, in their main headquarters, the, the city Damn. shut the building down. All right. Good. And, and you know, that's a beautiful thing because it's done. Most sides of government, this, 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 is, this is what's going to happen to you false prophets in your, in your, in your schools, in your, in your, in your, in your it's going to get destroyed. It's going to be destroyed, right? Hey, 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 no. uh, that the Lord doesn't do, do all with temples made with hands? That's it. That's you right. Know? That's right. And just, just, all those groups, they got men after men after men after fucking men. Yeah, that, 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 you see the, 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 UI, the I, IUIC uh, videos they be doing in the summertime in the beautiful weather? You'll see a million, hundred, they call it a million men march. You know what I'm saying? You got that. That's awesome. 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 Where your motherfucking videos at? Where your videos at? Pushing the king. Right? Yeah, where's the videos at? Warning the fight. So, you know what I'm saying? Teaching our people the, the truth, right? Sakari, Chicago, where happened to you? I haven't seen you in a long time now it's been cold. Where the fuck y'all used to be there every week? Where you at? All right? Where you at? Oh, you, are you IC? Where you at? I used to be KGOCC. Brother Braves, that what's his name? The dude that came over? He's where you at? Brother Braves. Hey, but it, uh, all it don't matter. Stay where you at if you ain't teaching the right doctrine anyway. <laughs> That's right, brother. All right, uh, you had something, Mark? Hey, yeah, I, 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 oh, oh, yeah. uh, well, I was just going to say, it's just like the elders been saying, man. We manifested in God. We don't give a fuck about this world. I None of the bullshit in it. But the Lord just put it on our spirit, man, to come out here and be instant in season and out of season right. and try to preach this word to you stiff neck, two third ass niggas because we know the fear of the Lord, man. Okay? But hey, give me that second Corinthians uh, <laughs> 5 and I'm starting 11. It says, Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. We persuade me. And, 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 and you know what? We know that terror. The Lord fucks us up in our minds, our spirits, our hearts. 
and our lives. We've been going through a whole bunch of They start up at 10. Okay, I, okay, I think you are playing five, 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 five. And that's why you see us in the middle of the Lord. You see us pleading. You see us yelling. You see us cussing. I was listening to Apostle Ron Bob the other day. You know when the mother's on the talk like that, because when you get mad at the Lord like that, man, you know how pissed off we are. Like, you see this media right now? That's it. Because he's putting the spirit on, on, on brothers to, you know, whether we deliver it gently, whether we deliver it forward, you know, like the scriptures say, you know, whether it's. You know, we're talking like this, or whether we, you know, get in the spirit and get a little louder and whatever. However it goes, you know what I'm saying? Long as it's sincere and genuine, and it's rolling in the spirit, man. It ain't no, you know, uh, acting on no character, the character, characters. You know what I'm saying? Or, or be, you know, uh, uh, brother. Matter of fact, that was uh, the brother Barra uh, had put a. Uh, uh, a picture of the, uh, the bros from Dallas, then those uh, one body, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, hey, bros from Dallas just out there, you know what I'm saying? We just, just like we are right now, just standing out here, you know, and then the other guys was like, you know, it's just this. No, 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 how much time? Here's the money. How much time? Yes. That's it. That's it, man. Right. This ain't about no sitting up here and uh, uh, acts. You know what I'm saying? It's truly sincere. All right? For real. It's real. All right? I mean, we, we literally give a fuck about our people. We, we love our nation. We love the gospel. We love the Father. So what we're doing right now, what the scriptures say, uh, we have piped and you have not danced. We have lamented and you have not mourned, man. Okay? Yep. Go ahead, brother. Okay, this is 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. And it reads, We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Yeah, yeah. We all up here. We can say you how it yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah, I usually do. Uh, that's all right, brother. No, but it says, look, look you know, everybody's gonna appear before that seat, man. All right, and that's the warriors. All right, Howard Shot said, uh, uh, that's the part of your watch and always. You may be able to escape from things that's not, man. All right, I'm done with that. It's uh, Luke 21 and 36. Watch it therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. <laughs> right, that's the warning, man. We, that's why we out here in the gaps, man. For one, to hopefully the Lord has decided to save us for doing the work of warning the people, but also to warn the people, man. All right, because the, the Lord is coming with great destruction. He said, I can't have to bring peace for the sword. All right, it's a miracle that the Lord is going to save us, man. Lord willing, we need let. It's a miracle that the Lord is saving anybody. Because everybody, hey, like Paul said in Romans 3, we're all falling short of the glory of the most high, man. We got we to gotta hold on to this mercy, man. We received this ministry uh, for our salvation. What's that, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 4, 1? Everybody receives this ministry for our salvation, man. Therefore, we thank not. We said all of our righteousness sins. This second half is 4. At 26, yet as he means and said, the more thou searches, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hastens fast to pass away. Right, this present evil world that we're in, it hastens fast to pass away because it has a bounds that it cannot pass. Uh -huh. All right, and during that, within that time is where we're to be purified and perfected. All right, is where we're to be purged from touching that pitch, all right? being purged from delving into the evil, all right? Because we were all about it at one point in time ourselves in our ignorance, all right? See, and we got defiled with it. So now it's time to be cleansed because it hastened fast to pass away. And the, the, the Lord is only coming to save those that has been cleansed by the word. All right, go ahead. It's 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 32, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we shall not be condemned with the world. Right. That's the purging. Like, no, go ahead, brother. I was going to just say that's the purging, man. That's it. What the brother Yaki was talking about, man. Yep. We go through these things so we can be cleansed. 
ultimately so we can have a form of punishment upon us for the sins we've done exactly man. all right because the lord said uh, uh, uh he's going to bring jeremiah 30 left he's going to destroy make a full explanation but thou should not altogether go unpunished yeah. so we still got to get punished we don't acknowledge your punishment if you still call these great plagues peace all right and you have to get judged See, I, I forget what the scripture is but it talks about here it is for the special chosen children of israelites we're about to be given all right a kingdom a, a rulership all right, riches, all right, forevermore, all right, rulership and righteousness with the law, statutes, and commandments written in our minds and our hearts. So he said, well, you have to be worthy for this. So to be worthy, then you have to go through. All right, so are you going to go through now? Or are you going to go through when the Lord come back with the punishment for the heat? And that's the, that's the go through that you don't want. Right. See, two thirds of our people, they're gonna have to go through physical right. fire. He said they shall be saved by fire. They, exactly. They still gonna be Israelites. Yeah. They gotta get the fire first. Yep. They we still, don't want that literal that's it. fire. That's it. We want the 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 uh, the, 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 the furnace of affliction, yeah. the spiritual fire. All right. That purifies us, man. Exactly. Exactly. Shit. Yep. And, and then Damn. those who accepts and goes through the spiritual fire <laughs> and come out shining and be cleansed and purified and perfected, they're going to be the hierarchy. All right. They're going to be the aristocrats in the kingdom of heaven. Right? Because because the scriptures talk about how, you know, uh, all of Israel is going to have the law, statutes, and commandments in their minds and in their hearts. Therefore, we're not going to need to teach our brother or uh, neighbor anymore. You know, and it says from the least to the greatest, they all shall know me. Right. From the least to the greatest. So that's letting you know there's going to be an order, a rank and file. First fruits. So those first fruits, the aristocrats. Hey, there, there's gonna be some meetings that all Israelites can't go to. Ooh, hey, all Israelites gonna better drink wine than you have a shy table. That's it. That's a special thing given that's to that's it. It's aristocrats. That's, that's it. That government that's set upon their shoulders. That's it. You talk about songs that that the day in the courts of the Most High. Is better than this and that. Yeah. Man, you want to see you have the opportunity to understand what we're fighting for is if, if you were Ayah or Shah would be able to be in the presence at the table, in the in, in the room, at the at the at the at the, at the seat, at the feet of the Lord. Hey, check it out. I just did a lesson called production proofs. So just like in the world, hey, guess what? All the NBA players ain't about to be at the All-Star game. You know what I'm saying? Only those that produced the most. You know what I'm saying? Be a bad Go, right, right. You know see, but hey, guess what? If you're not in that top, that's, that's, you know, tier of production, that's, 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 see, the, the rose in the new, he, he got like 30 uh, uh, points, 28 points a game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, whoever making it, they're producing. You know what I'm saying? Whoever making it to the All Star game, they're producing the most, the top tier in the NBA to make it to that All-Star weekend. So, hey, some be like mad that they didn't even make it. They get, they call it snub, you know what I'm saying? Because here it is, you didn't produce like Mike and them. You averaged 25. Right. He averaged 30. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? And a triple-double. Exactly. And what you do, you had 25 here next. He right. had 30 all the time. Exactly. And a triple double. Right. So and he wins the game. He had and 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 and, and they to do all kind of things. So production. All right. So whoever producing the fruits of righteousness. All right. Whoever producing uh, uh, and is a part of that body. Because if you're a part of that body, that means that. Uh, like in that John, uh, St. John 15, it talks about, you know, how the Most High is the husband man, and uh, our Lord Savior is divine, he's that root, and you are the branches. So if you're connected, that means you're going to produce, because you're going to get fruit, all right? Because you're going to continue to get the increase from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And if you continue to get increase, and you're studying, and you're showing yourself approved, and you're getting more and more increase, and you're growing in the spirit, and you're producing fruit, not only fruits of righteousness yourselves, but also fruit, other men coming in, you know, and, and hearing you and coming off, you know, your ministry, right? And it's a continuous continuing production all right oh. that's it you're not edifying the body you're not, you're not part of the body that's it see forwarding see we're forwarding the kingdom of heaven he said 
that in the kingdom of heaven, the law, statutes, and commandments is going to be written in our minds and our hearts. So we're going to perform that thing. Right now, where is the production of you rehearsing it, at least? See, you, in, in this present evil world, you should be rehearsing what you're going to perform in the kingdom of heaven. All right? And so that should be the mindset and production, man. Production. Because those who have the highest output, and guess what? Don't matter who, you know, uh, 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 as far as the output you have, right, because that, that's all of the ability that the Most High gives anyway. Exactly. However many talents the Most High gave. So it, it, as long as we're on the team and we're producing, all right, to ultimately... Uh, go through that furnace of affliction, the furnace of adversity, and then come out shining. And, and just, just for a brief example, he gave the one guy, uh, you know, five talents in terms of ten. He gave another guy a talent in terms of two talents. Because whatever the Lord gives you, as long as you turn it and bring back something that's back to it, that's, that's it. all the most high back. That's it. And you'll get the same pity that everybody that's else got. That's, that's it. That's it. I got a precept for you now. I don't, this may not be what you looking for a quote about you going through this to get the kingdom uh -huh. but this goes along with what you said this second Thessalonians 1 is 4 so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of the most high for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endured which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High. That's it. That's exactly it. That's that ye it. may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the Most High. That's it. For which ye also suffer. Read it again. Huh. In 2 Thessalonians 1 and 4. So that we ourselves glory in you and the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith and all your persecution. See, for all your faith and your patience. And, and all your persecution. <laughs> yep. That's the camp. Yep. That's the camp of the body of the Lord, man. Yeah, if you patient, that means you're going through something that's like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? But you keeping your faith, you keeping your integrity, you're not wilding out, you're not, you know, it, it's just, hey, yeah, you, you're being patient, all right? And, and still, yeah, still enduring, still producing fruits of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Still in the fight, man. So it's just letting you know that you are going to go through these things, all right, to ultimately make yourself worthy for what you're about to get. Yep, go ahead. Yep. Uh, uh, so that we ourselves glory you in the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High. See, there is some uh, righteous uh, uh, judgment. It's a sign, a token, all right, uh, uh, of the righteous judgment of the Most High that he didn't just say here. Because now you don't appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know how to deal with it. You don't know the, 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 the ins and outs of everything. You know what I'm saying? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Now you appreciate this. You, you deserved it. You went through it and you earned it. It said Yahweh was uh, made perfect through sufferings. And then it said he came down to deal with these things to be all points tempted. Like us, he can be a subcurrent unto us. Same thing with us, man, dealing with the nations. Once with Solomon 12 talks about how such great circumspection the Lord judge us. So when we are judging for his mercy, when we judge, we think upon his goodness. So we're going to understand to be merciful. It said, in fact, it says it plainly in that scripture. It says the righteous man will learn to be merciful. We learn in real judgment, man. That's right. Uh, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High. Like I said, damn, look at Solomon 12, the Lord master his power. This is how we're learning to master the power so we get it. We're gonna be we ain't gonna just be dicks about it, man. Right. You know? <laughs> the bigger plane, you know? Like Paul said, I got such hope that he's very plain as a speech. Which is the manifest token of the righteous judge of the most high. He may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the most high, for which you also suffer. Woo! For which you also suffer, man. And another point is the next verse, saying it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation them that trouble you. It, it allows for us to be able to rule over the heathens. Now they earn their judgment. So we can put them under subjection. Yep. You know? Yep. So the Lord's a master of multiple birds and one stone, man. It's righteous that we go through these things so we can learn, all right, that we didn't just be a, 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 a well, a, uh, trash flying baby, yeah, right, right, right. so to say. Exactly. Right. Just, 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 yeah. just giving the giving the everything. Silver spoon. You know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord well, anything, to, anything. He told us to put ourselves like men. So what? Don't you think He's gonna make us build us up as men too? You ain't no real man getting the fucking hand up. Nah, and also the Lord didn't just not punish us. 
know? And also, the Lord made so, the judgment so righteous that the heat is earned. Us rule over them, man. That's it. That's it. And, All and they're going to be happy. Because the Lord after, said, as soon as they hear, yeah, soon after, as they after, hear after, of me, yeah. they, yeah. Yeah. they will yeah. obey me. So we're break them back. Yeah, oh, we're going oh, to get you yeah. that. That's that, it. That, 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 that Saint Bain, the king. Saint Bain. Saint Bain. Saint Break the rich man. You have lived delicious for all these years. No, I have to come and destroy you. Look at that. Somebody's going to say, why is this happening? happening because maybe you decided to have a picnic by religion. <laughs> hey, well, it, it, ultimately, see, here it is how uh, the Most High has given, it, it says uh, all men stand from the ground and Adam was created of earth and, you know, they were all separated from Adam and divided into different nations and given diverse ways. So here it is, these heathens, they have their innate ways that send them, right? See, but their ways that lead to them. To, to, to death, all right? And so we're gonna break them from their innate ways. We're gonna break them from them ways because in the kingdom of heaven, you can't live a death style, all right? You can't, you can't just, you know, uh, uh, do what you wanna do that leads to death. Now, of course, of course, they won't be perfect, so they'll transgress and they'll ultimately, you know, uh, 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 die. They'll live and die, live and die, live and die. And be corrected. Yeah, see, but the thing is, is we're going to rule with righteousness. We're going to rule with wisdom. You're going to have to roll with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And after, hey, after a while, they'll see that. Shit, whole time, this was, was up. This was light. This was help. This was fun. This is, you know, this is this is head thing. Hey, hey uh, 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 masters, y'all got it. Thank you. It says when the, when the righteous are in rulership, the people rejoice. That's it. And when the wicked are in rulership, the people mourn. That's that simple. That's it. And can a brother hit the revelation? Absolutely. Wow, this is Revelation. Chapter 2, verse 26. He that overcometh and kept the my works until the end. So wait, it says he that what? Overcometh. So not he that succumbs to this present evil world. He, he, he that succumbs to this flesh. Yes, sir. All right. No, no, no. He that overcomes, all right, the world, the temptation, the flesh, the wicked, all right, and the alluring thereof, all right. He that overcometh, you what? And keep the my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nations. Woo! To him will I give power over the nations, man. Who overcomes and, and keep it my work to the end. Who produce to the end, right? To the very end, all right. To when the the, uh, the the missiles are on this way, and then the Lord is on His way, all right. And we see it that day. The <laughs> see, see the pauses and, and the deliverance and the uplifting and bringing up. Yes. Come out of her, my people. Produce till the end. That's why I said when he comes, you gotta have on that wedding garment, man. All right. When he comes, he gotta find you so. Active, all right. Active in the production, all right, of uh, uh, of forwarding the kingdom of heaven. Action, all right, of producing, all right, fruits of righteousness, man. It says, hey, to him will I give power over the nations, man. You're gonna be a part of the. the it says, from the least to the greatest, you be part of the greatest. The aristocrats. All right, go ahead. The reader says. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of part of a potter shall they be broken to shovel. See, in this present evil world, the Lord allowed man to do man. All right, He allowed it just so uh, He's going to show His power in you. All right, He's going to show you the juxtaposition of actually rolling with the power, as opposed to rolling with creation. All right? See, because you rolling with creation and, and doing creation leads to death. But rolling with the creator and the ways of the creator, that leads to life everlasting. So here it is. He's not in, in, in the, in, in the uh, new heaven, in the new earth. You're not going to be allowed to live no other way. We're going to be to see you. All right? We're going to be to see you. 
soon as you have a thought, damn near, sometimes. Now, of course, they gonna go off because they're not gonna be perfect, all right? But we gonna be to see you and you're gonna get the penalty for whatever it is that you did. All right? Were, were, were you finished with that? Uh, this is Lamar. Okay. The recess, even as I've seen of my father, and I will give him the morning star. So he that have an ear, let him hear. But the Spirit said unto the church, Huh? Well, that's what we're looking forward to, man. To put you in this in subjection. All right? Like the Lord, you know, uh, Radish 13, 9 and 10, man. That's the patient faith of the saints. That helps keep us going. You know that the Lord won't leave us to hell, and at some point, He will raise up the kingdom of Israel again, man. But the good news is, after your judgment, after your punishments, you will get your land back, man. You're going to pay tribute to us. All right? It says the force of the Gentiles shall come unto us. How are we going to get those forces if you're not in your own land? Right, how are you going to bring in your kings, and right, whoever you got as your chiefs and your, your people, how are you going to bring them to us, all right, if you don't have your own land? All right? Everybody's self eat them. Isaiah 14, Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 18. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, by a glory, everyone in his own house. Right, they're going to get their lands back, man. After they serve, they serve to them. Jeremiah 30 and 16. All the heathens are going to slavery. But after 8,000 years of punishment, the rest of the dead shall live again, man. Yep. They're going to get their lands. They're going to have a form of glory, meaning they're going to be uh, uh, not completely under us with the rod on their ass, man. Okay? Verse 18, verse 19. You pay tribute, you know, and be under the order. And it says in every nation that will, I'll grab, I'll grab you got it. Right. And you can't live your, your ways that you was living uh, in, in uh, uh, this present evil world, man. All right, so go ahead. Verse 19, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those, of those that are slain, thus do with the sword, and go down to the stones of the pit, as a cart is trotted under feet. Verse 20, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land. So Esau will get that rest. Or Esau is going to get put a white boy from the earth. The rest of these, they're going to get rest eventually, man. Alright? And slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor build the face of the world with cities. Verse 22, Bible So they won't get to build no cities. It says Judah go possess the land of Edom. That's it. All right, go ahead. Verse 22, Father, rise up against them, saying, Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith Yahweh. And right. Babylon is who Edom. It says the, Esau, the daughter of Babylon, are to be destroyed. So after that thousand years of slavery, Edom is going to be wiped out. Point yeah. blank period. Not it said the whole male line wiped out, which means no more Edomites, man. All right, it's Isaiah 60 and uh, 11. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring us neither the forces of the Gentiles, if their kings have brought, they're going to bring us goodies, man. All the best. All right? The All same, the best. Yep, the same word for forces right here oh, yeah. is used when the Queen of Sheba brought her uh, 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 goods, man. All right? That's the same word. And then it says, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yet those nations shall be utterly wasted. So whatever nation decide, oh, we ain't going to follow the Lord East of Israel, or we ain't going to come up to the... Uh, the Priest of Tabernacles, I think we're going to be on their ass, but it shows that they're going to get their lands back. They won't have a kingdom as in their ruling, they will have their land back. They're going to have their own houses. I believe Ezekiel or Jeremiah words it as every nation shall go back under his own tree. Right. And, see, and the thing is, we, you're not going to go back under your tree going back to the same madness that you're Right, they don't know. We're going to rule over you. That's that. You, so you're not going to have to worry about having a house next to another person's house on top of an apartment in the in, in, in the belt. Right? No, you're gonna have you gonna have land. Yeah, see? Right? And then you're gonna put No, I was gonna say real quick, the, 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 the law of the land. See, just like the, the, the divided states of America, they got different laws for uh, every, every, state. every state, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Every the, the whole earth and beyond, wherever there is gonna be life, all right, is gonna be the same law, statutes, and commandments. Man. And ain't gonna be no uh um twenty thousand page bill. They don't say that the motherfuckers right. ain't even read. <laughs> right. This one person writing part of it. This other one person part right first, and nobody read the whole motherfucking thing. Right. Right. Yeah. The language, the language. Yeah. They always say the language of it. Right? What the fuck? Like, hey, but here we go. Isaiah two. This Isaiah chapter two and verse two. And they show. 
I said to him, verse 1, the word that ain't Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. It shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Verse 3. When the Lord exalts those, the hopeful, righteous, elect men of the Lord, he said, above all the years, we are going to be with the men that you hear week in, week out in, uh, in the camps across the planet uh, to teach the righteous doctrine of Yahweh Shai, don't hit them. They are your future rulers. You say in Revelation, we're going to be increasing kings on the earth. Verse 3, And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. There you go. So like the, the other brother Yaki just said, the heathens ain't going to go after their own shit but like, like, like they doing now. Right, right. All right? It ain't happening like that. Elon ain't going to be worshiping a fucking cow, feeding a group of fucking monkeys and shit like that ain't God's, man. No, you're going to come and learn of Israel. All right? This this word, this law, Yahweh shall have written over all things, man. When you get your land, man, you want to know that man's going to be running according to what we established the righteousness that the Heavenly Father, who is saying how has given us, man. All right? And whoever don't serve us, going to be destroyed. That's going to be for every province, in every kingdom, uh, on all planets to come for eternity. It's going to be run in order. The Most High is not starting this eternity off of with eternal wickedness. No, wickedness has this, like what you're saying, Wickedness gets its time, like righteousness gets it's its eternity. That's it. That's, that's a mighty, that's a mighty, mighty quote. That's it. No, no, that was good. It's Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 9. For my soul have I desired thee the night, yea, will my spirit within me, will I seek thee early. But when thy judgments are in the earth, <coughs> the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Ooh. I got it. That goes super hard. And we can begin. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 9. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit. And that's the night is right now. This is the time when it's done. We're we, we, we waiting for the Lord to return. Yeah, the day so dawn. The, the day dawn. And you know what I'm saying? That day star arise. All right? We, 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 right now, we, we, we in the valley of the shadow of death. Go ahead. It says, Yea, will my spirit within me will I seek thee early. That, and, 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 man, the times. Right. Mm -hmm. So is the most hot man. So who's your hero? Now. <laughs> I mean, you, you remember the old, the, the old parable we would do? You wait, he goes, hey, here's two, you, huh? Yeah, right. hey, 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 brother, hey, where you going? Yeah, right. You better come, I, I'm going where? Yeah. You better come to the kingdom. Oh, we yeah. come to the kingdom. Yeah. And we go, bro. Right. I said, well, no, 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 hold on. No what, 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 right. what, what kingdom is this? I said, I hate this motherfucker. That's right. why, I, thank you for waking me up. Yes. Yeah, when my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. See, because uh, what's, what's the, just like the one grain of evil seed and how much wickedness has grown from there, once the most high put them um, um, establishes the righteous seed and it takes over, when the people start seeing that, man, this actually is a really beautiful era. Oh shit, did you see? Did you have a little piece of that uh, that was great? And you hold the grape like this, one grape. <laughs> When they start, when they, when, when they, they when these men start actually seeing a real woman, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and actually virgins and shit, you know, so their laws different. Everything is different, bro. When you start really having the, the beauty that the Most High intended for this world to be, it ain't gonna take long before these people gonna be like all princes and none, because they gonna see it. But see, we see it now. We see it through uh, uh, hope and belief. You know, like this uh, second extra, uh, second extra, the first chapter says, I take the, them to come, that to come. But not having seen me with bodily eyes, but believes the things that I say. We're taking that little faith now. But when they're in it, oh, it's not going to be a sound of denial. You know what I'm saying? This Revelation 11, 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdom of our Lord and of his anointing, and he shall reign forever and ever. Woo! See, we gotta we have a hope, man. 
We got a hope that, uh, 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 that's full of immortality. Man. Uh, and, 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 and that's a cut to you goddamn niggas and niggerettes who like, ain't no aim at aim on these niggas for having to kill them. You stupid, small minded looking nigga. Well, the, and more, and, and the, look, the most high talks about immortality. Well, he said he created man to be immortal. <laughs> he created man to be immortal. Talking about the Israelite man. Because that's what scripture is written to. Right. So he created us to be immortal. All right, but death came in the world through envy of the devil, man. And, and the wages of sin is it's death. death. All right, so we, we, we that's why I was to talk about hey, envy not the, uh, 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 the oppressor, man, and choose none of his ways. We don't want none, none of his portion, man. None. All right, see, but when, when you know, our people want some of his portion. That's it. So now you're going to have to get some of his judgment. That's it. And that goes to you, that goes to you, can't stop going off too. All right, that's all she says. They're off too. And you keep on following these some these these, these uh, reprobate leaders. Yep, and that that are teaching things that are contrary to the, the doctrine, but also things that are promoted by these so people. Yep. You know what I'm saying? New glory and shit that is way to fuck off. Man. Saying you can say yeah, have sex in the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, nigga, uh, then what? Why would the Lord? What? What? Every time I hear that, that you know, they'll say that. I think about King David. And the, new, and the new moon was come, and Saul was like, where's David? Oh, he's surely unclean. Uh, he, uh, no, 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 don't worry about it. It's David, let's get some he, he, he'll, he, he'll be here next time. You know what I'm saying? He, he'll surely, he, you don't understand? We, the, the, man, come on, man. Don't come at your wives before coming before the Lord, man. What the fuck, man? The, 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 these, there's going to be a very big, uh, I believe this year, if not this very soon, a lot of these kids, they already been shaking up now. But there's going to be some very heavy judgments going on. Very heavy. Very heavy. Because the most high got you. He's not slack on certain of his promises. But, and you all are vexing the men of the Lord. When you slander the men of the Lord name, come against the apostles, you know what I'm saying? Talking shit to your elders and so forth. Talk to your men like any kind of way. And then ultimately, you know, coming against Yahweh Shemiah and, 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 and the doctrine. That's what they're coming against. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The most that's a payment for that shit. You no? Know? And I, I can tell you it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power, man. The Lord will jack you up. He jacks us up and it hurts. How much more when it comes down to destruction? That's why he said, don't worry about back in that second just not don't right. worry about how I'm gonna kill right. the fuck He said, don't even worry. Right. Hey, don't even just don't worry need about how I'm gonna save your way. Yeah. Right. Don't worry about that. I, and so guess what? I ain't worried about that. If the power, I, ain't, I ain't wondering if the, power, if the power says right. it's a don't fearful care. thing don't to fall into the hands of the living power and don't worry about how I'm about to fuck the Lord. Um, so salvation is the Right, right, right. <laughs> I ain't fuck these motherfuckers. May you get it. Right. And may you get it good because you, you deserve that shit. Hold it with our eyes only, like you said. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good hearty laugh, brother. That's it. That's it. Popping a proverbial manner. You know what I'm saying? Watching your ass. Go ahead and get get that destruction, man. Because the Most High said he's not he's not a power that he should be mocked. Okay. All right. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So what you sowing? All right. Are you sowing hot cups, girl? All right. Are you? Are you serving God in the doctrine, the gospel, of life? Right? Are you helping your people? Are you fighting? Or are you living good over here in, in, in Babylon? Right. Israelite party! Right. Right. That right. shit don't make no fucking sense. Right. The Lord is here. He's coming to save those that's crying out for him, sighing and crying. Rules of hell. You know. Hey, come get, come get your wives and come get your, go get your, go get your, go get your jobs and your wives and your business. Look at this, man. This is a little piece of heaven on earth. Wow. You know what? The only part of that I can read, almost understand is this is a little piece of heaven on earth. Because I'm with the men of the Lord. Right? And, 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 and the energy of this, look, I understand. Trust me, I'm about to go there too. Yeah, I was just said it. And the kingdom of heaven is within you. That's it. It's a, but this right here is the cool. We test, we taste it. We, we, we taste it. Right. But this, this, but this is not good enough. For right. Me. No. Because it's not. We're not in our profession. Right. 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 And this still hurts. Right. Because as soon, soon as, so for a moment in time, I'm smiling with you. <laughs> and y'all be like, all right, shut up. <laughs> right. And then it's right back. It's right back into the shit. Right back into the sorrow, man. Right back into walking up in the middle of the night, wondering where's my daughter. All right. We're, we're, we're being woken up and, and, and awarded by a, a 
bill collector calling every motherfucking day. All right? I got two for y'all. This Proverbs 14, 13. Even the laughter, the heart is sorrowful. At the end of that mirth is heaviness. Come on, man. So for a moment, we, uh, we get to fight night. We're like, oh, man, that was a good fight. All right, shallow off. <laughs> back to reality. Back to reality. There goes gravity. Hebrews six fourteen. But it's impossible for those who were once in life and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of the Messiah and the powers of the world to come. So having this this, this word, and this hope, and this understanding. It's having the peace of the world to come within us, man. Like the elder brother, like I said earlier, we rehearsing now what we're gonna be doing in the kingdom, actually. So, of course, this ain't it. This is fucking hell, man. The world's right. darkness. Right. But within us, this Holy Spirit and this, this brother's love, we have a, a taste of the kingdom. That's it. And, and that's that hope. That's that hope. The Lord just dangle a little hope. Yeah. Because that actually increases our faith. Yeah. Every time I'm around the brother, I'm getting. Fellowship, talking, and building. You know, the brother brought out several precepts. This is one of the beautiful brothers. Beautiful precepts. That you ever went over. We get reinvigorated. We get renewed like the apostle the bar brought out in the book. Not too ago. We renew morning by morning, day by day. The Lord finds a way to increase our faith and do this up for that next day. And that's what's helping us do. That's 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 the end is our faith. Salvation. Yep. And that hope. It says it how it holds you down that's it. like an anchor yeah, so it. you don't go we'll crazy. Uh -huh. no, we don't slip and we go and, that's it. and we fall away. That's it. That's right. We keep that faith in that integrity. That's it. Ah, that vision. That's it. Leaving on the you know, to the spirit of power, power you have. Yeah, yeah, it's because it gave the example. It's like, hey, they they didn't, you know, get it at that time, but having seen it afar off, you know what I'm saying? They had that faith and kept their integrity, man. All right? That's it. You know, any uh, closing precepts? That, that, that's, 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 that's the beautiful part about the kingdom because it says the sum of the law is brotherly love, what a name is that's myself. A We're going to be able to live in peace amongst each other, man. Because you, you know there's some cool jokes out here and shit. But you really can't deal with the world. The nigga in the world do anything to get over, man. They can be cool with you and still do some fucked up shit, man. Right, you're right. In the kingdom, it's going to be all love, man. And, you know, Yep. That's, that's, that's the middle part. We got a yeah. we got a piece yeah. that amongst each other, man. That's it. Even when we go through stretch, it should be resolved, man. Like, Real quick. It, Real quick. Love, man. Yeah. Even yeah. when you get robbed on game night. Right. <laughs> hey Joe, that's crazy. You was just talking about that. That's bro. The inside. Hey, hey, see, but then, you know, hey, we, we wind up, hey, no matter what, we, you know, uh, uh because here it is, these are relationships. All right, and in relationships, you 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 have ups and downs. See, but are you gonna handle it like a nigga? That's right. Or are you gonna handle it like like a brother according to the, the what thus saith the Lord? That's right. All right, and that's why it says, hey man, you go and you tell they show the scriptures in our way, and then it says, up, oh, you have gained your brother. That's right. And then you go to the scriptures, you find out about the, the love that the real brothers have for one another is like the love that King David and Jonathan. Yep. He said this is a love that surpasses the love of a woman. That's it. All right. Those before homes. That's yep. right. And that's because right now we we we're not trying to get anything sexually from one another. I don't want. As a matter of fact, I don't want nothing from any one of these brothers except their love. Right? All I would desire for any brother is to love the most high with all right. that heart, mind, and soul. Mm -hmm. Hey, you motherfuckers that say that weird shit, man. That, that's you talking about yourself. That's it. Eat a mic, break that's down. That's right. What's that John thing say? He say when the devil speaks the life, speak it up himself. That's it. That's, that's, it. Right. that's mad. That's, that's it, man. They say oh, King David and Jonathan was No, man. It, it's simply bros before homes. Like, that's it. And you gotta do a sexual what the fuck? See, see, hell see, no. See, she just that sweet woman, man. That's, that's it. right. See, there's, there's a brother. Especially that sweet that white woman. I was gonna say that. <laughs> 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 a two-fold quarter or three-fourth quarter. Can I be quickly broken? Pick, 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 pick. Hey, that's that's a love of, uh, that, that bar keeps you going, man. That's it. That's it. A woman don't keep you going. That's it. A woman, there ain't no such thing as a woman. Yeah, I can say a woman that's big life continue. Get the fuck out of here. It's that comedic breakdown. That's weird, man. No brother keep you going, man. That's it. Hey, hey, the, the motivation from a man, <laughs> shit, the motivation from a right man will have me building skyscrapers, man. Building, go, go, and, and, and going in these endeavors and, and conquering demons and shit. You ever can't do that shit? What, the, you know what the woman gonna inspire you to do? Try to find another way to bust it up. That's yes. right. Yeah. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, with the most time, I can be inspired to build kingdoms, man. Right? Hey, man, even, even these women's sports teams, man, when it's time for them to play a game, they bring a man to come in there and fire them up. They don't have no fucking right. woman right, 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 right. stepping up and come getting on, the girls. troops, rally the troops. That shit ain't right, right, real. Right. We're going about to go to war. We're about to go to a battle with you know, a million versus a million. I'm, guys, I want you all to fight with your hearts. Right, but you make that. But they gonna be like, damn, shit, take it. Can I fuck this bitch? Right, that might ain't gonna even be on the fight. Right, come on, man. You, 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 you. A cheerleader looks. Does that look sexy? <laughs> so you get the victory. You want that? That's man. right. God, man. Yes. <laughs> Another way to bust a nut, like that. Right. Just toss the guard. Yeah, yeah. That's, it. that's it. That's time. <laughs> Yeah, you, Morgan. You, hear hey, you hear some of these speeches, man. You ready to go kill a nigga, man. Like, we about to go play basketball. We ain't supposed to be ready to kill nobody. Yeah. We, spoke, we spoke up Captain Morgan as well. <laughs> but hopefully this has been edifying to the oh, spirit of power. I got a quick one. This is a rock 6 and 17. Whosoever, whosoever fear of the Lord shall direct his hands to my right. For as he is, so shall his neighbor also. Hey, read that again. The brothers going to go out, brothers. Can we get excited to see the brothers? Yeah, I was trying to say this, I mentioned it was just a second. Goon Tug, brother, Goon Tug. Not somebody say, oh, girl, you never had no tell a woman you never had a little slip. Oh, yeah. That's wickedness, man. That's wickedness, man. You can't go get dealt with, man. Say it, brother. And it's heavy. And that's why the spirit is heavy on the middle of the Lord cussing out your camps right now. Because this is sick. This is sick. Okay? And that's why this is a call for all you men in these other camps. Get the fuck out those camps. All right? right. The, those camps are going to send your ass to goddamn death and destruction. All right? I mean, come on, man. Oh, yeah. How does that happen? How does that happen? How does that happen? How does that happen? that that he that he that 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 you that 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 and you got it, man. You, 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 you stepping into another man's shit, man. Most I gonna destroy you, man. That's, that's, that's vexation on top of vexation. Dude, those real men. Who was with that goddamn wicked ass woman, man? Shit. Fuck out of here, man. In Sirach 6 and 17, whosoever, whoso fear of the Lord shall direct his friendship or right, for as he is, so shall his neighbor also. So, 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 iron sharpens iron, grows up to grow. And he's going to be as he is. He's woman that will give you another one. Exactly. The woman, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still want to see that woman who's going to, if I can, 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 if that the most has set up, this right? Is and this is the foundation of existence. This is the building block of existence. Exactly. Right? You know? Hey, repent. That's it. That's it. The time is running out. Repent, man. That's it. And, and while, while it's today, and right, outside of blasphemy, the Holy Spirit, are y'all about to be outside? The Lord will forgive a lot of shit, bro. Repent. And if you can't, that means that's pride. See? So hopefully this has been edifying. Anything else? Hopefully this has been edifying to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rukakudash. Double honors to the apostles out in New York at Great Millstone at GMS. Honors to all you out here around the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. All right? Shalom to the Aquas who are obedient to their husbands. You cannot leapfrog over your husband to get to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. With that, we're going to say Shalom and Abad Babal. Abad Babal! Next time. <laughs> right.